Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> it's Wednesday again. It just keeps coming back. Yeah, it's every week, man. <laughs> seven. Every yeah. seven days. Every seven days. And uh, this is where we play new games on classic consoles. Well, one classic console. Yeah. Atari 2600. Well, sometimes. Actually, yeah, no, yeah, once. always, always. We, 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 once we didn't. Yeah, yeah, which was a cool one. I like that. Yeah, it was interesting. But I love the 2600, so that's that's, that's what, what we're, we're doing here. That's what we're doing. And we got, uh, and we're broadcasting in 60 frames a second, so if you're not watching in 60, you really should be. Yeah, you're only seeing half the show, you literally. You are literally seeing half the show, because, you know, you have to see other 30 frames a second of us. That's right. <laughs> and uh, welcome to everybody who's tuned in already. Um, in the chat here, uh, live on Twitch, if you're watching this on YouTube, hi, later. We're not doing this live on YouTube. <laughs> you're watching it the next day. Um, we have uh, Mr. Fix, oh, who's got the new nine-month subscriber yeah. badge. This looks amazing. It's rainbows, it's Zeds. Yeah. It's, it's got a, a nine there. Um, Dan AVC, Dionoid. Welcome, Dionoid. Hey. 77. I Sposta. Um, Ground Trooper also just resubscribed. Amazing, He's dude. He's up to eight months now. So, so thank close, you. so close to your nine month badge. Yeah, and very thanks close. Thanks for hanging out with us for that long. It feels like it was yesterday we started doing it, but it's <laughs> definitely it's been a while. not. Yeah. And Yan Fa Real, that's a new name. Yeah. Welcome. It says, uh, great things. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, and Wink Dot is here as well, hey. and we're playing one of his games. Uh, actually, oh. right on the top of the game, uh, really? top of the show, Doom Patrol, from 2015. I don't oh. apologize, Mr. Ground Trooper, for late nine months. Just thanks, it's awesome oh. hanging out. It doesn't matter it's whether you do it. It's, it's a ch the cherry on the icing on the cake. That's right. That, that you've that you've subscribed. Yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you for supporting us. And you get little symbols beside your name. He's got yeah. the golden Z right now, and that's for the six month. Um, we're playing Doom Patrol from 2015 by Ed Riley, who is Wink Dot. Um, and we're going to be playing Bag Boy, which is a new game from 2019 Damn. by Kev Kelly, uh, who said he couldn't make it today because he's working, but he did want to be here. But he'll check it out probably on yeah. YouTube. He'll check it that. out later on YouTube. And we're going to be playing Minor 2049er, which won uh, for Best Hack. Ooh. In the 2018 Atari Awards, which we hosted. And uh, it's done by Dr. Clue, uh, Thomas Jens, and Omega Matrix. And it is part of the... Uh, what is it, the official name of it? It's like Homebrew Tournament, I think it is. 2019 Homebrew Tournament, uh, which is hosted by Dan AVC. And he just put in there, he extended the deadline, because I think the deadline originally was today or tomorrow yeah which would have that's been... why i snuck it in today yeah. to get at the last minute because i always want to see the scores that people have put up and then we have something to shoot for like yeah you kind of know like what the heck you're doing yeah what score are we going for um how uh, many is this the first round how many games this the tournament? second round what is this one? Oh, this is round number two cool round number one was aardvark Oh, which yeah. I dominated. Oh, so you're doing well. We'll, we'll probably... Yep. I'll play a couple games, but you'll probably play more games just because you're the one who's got to <laughs> sneak in those those scores, man. That's right. Got to get in there. You got to. And, yeah, there's uh, two scores. We'll get to it, but there's two scores up on the board right now. One of them's Arena Foot, and he's like... Arena. Oh, I gotta, he's got to practice and make sure he gets a good score, but now he's got many more days to do it oh yeah so there's you think you can do time. it are you is this a game that you're comfortable with it's a platformer that's a good so sign I'm, so i'm comfortable with platformers um it's fairly challenging because it's pretty exacting like the yeah. things you have to do on it i haven't played it much i've just kind of practiced it to make sure it's all working here so it's pretty new the mechanics of it so i'm i've I would say I'm fairly confident in my skills with it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Dan ABC says, Harmony Games Tournament. That's what it's called. Right. Because we played on the Harmony Cart. That's where that came from. And, uh, yeah. This is his... I don't know how many... How many years have you been running? Because we only started playing it uh, last year. Yeah. Because the show just started up last year. And we participated all year last year. And this is our second year participating in the Harmony Games Tournament. 
And uh, I didn't do too bad last year. I think I came in fourth or I fifth. I think that was right, yeah. And because there were some really, really high-end players that were just I destroying. Just, I remember like, the controversial thing was the guy who hosted the tournament was won really it. really good. Which yeah. was just such a funny thing because he's picking the games and everything yeah, like that. Right, I was yeah. like, but oh, that's fine. It's, it's totally cool. But I was like, that's very <laughs> suspicious, this And then this there's thing. another guy called the Oyama family. Yeah. And he's so good at getting he holds so many world records in Jesus. these games so it's like oh my god i just can't compete and uh dan says he's been doing it since about 2003 it's a long time wow so well that's, that's great awesome. though it keeps keeps people playing these games and some yeah. healthy competition is what kind of keeps us yeah. alive and, and yeah it gets it gets people playing them and maybe they haven't played this game before or not as much and they learn about it as they go yeah and you don't often get to play with people because i mean it's no that's the thing it's so it's almost like getting to play with somebody and it's also like having an arcade like it's like when you used to go to the arcade and there was like high scores and you're like, yeah oh, you see that i got a letter name a a a right who is this a a a always just always he's everywhere <laughs> and jared gray west joined us welcome Welcome, Jared Gray West. And we've got Twitch, Twitch subscribers, names to read out. Gretams, Ground Trooper, I Sposta, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, RC7E, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, 2008, Tiki Dan K. And you can support the show as well by subscribing for free. Uh, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe, or you can just throw money at us, which works as well if you don't have Amazon Prime. We have a poll question. Ooh. ooh. Um, we did have a poll question last show, too. And I just came up with another one. I hope we haven't done this one before, but I don't think so. The question is, how do you feel about reproduction cartridges? Ooh, that's a good now, question. Do you know what those are? I mean, I have a, a sense of it, but explain so that uh, they... I don't embarrass myself and give a wrong explanation. So there are, you know, original cartridges that the people put out. You know, they like this is balloon drip. Just yeah. for example, it's all shiny because it's in plastic. And are we talking original ones? This or like is original. Home? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't okay, matter. Okay. Reproduction is anything. Um, but kind of, we're talking about homebrew today, yeah. of course, because it's about homebrew. Um, so this is the original. It's made by a person. It is put out by a company. Uh, Atari Age um, put this cartridge out. They they made the cartridge, um, and Blue Swimmer made this game. Right, and it's sold through the Atari Age store. Um, what a reproduction cartridge is is that they take the game from inside and they put it out on a cartridge themselves and give no money back <laughs> to the people who put the work into it. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm <laughs> frowning upon this. I mean, I think if I, I would be down for a reproduction cartridge if this is like a company that is this is a super rare game that was produced oh, by a Mike's company um yeah, oh yeah talking uh produced by like a like a like a, a company or a studio that's really quite nameless and it's one of those things where it'd be difficult to get a physical copy without then i'm down but if it's like a homebrew <laughs> i don't know so you're saying rip off the big guys yeah that's uh, totally uh, my screw attitude the big guys okay but i mean i think that might be just me <laughs> It might be just you, but we will find out. But I, I'm a little, a little, a little pirate. It's just a t <laughs> tiny bit of a pirate. Ooh, oh, that's not good. Um, so the the question and the options are: the question is, how do you feel about reproduction cartridges? Um, yeah, they rep reproduce the box sometimes, the manual. Like yeah. it looks like, and there's different kinds. One, some, some are like it says reproduction on it. It's very plain. And some are like, no, we're copying this. It looks like exactly the original. And if you're not an expert at, at discerning between the two, you wouldn't be able to tell. And what prompted this is I saw a reproduction cartridge on eBay. And it didn't say on it reproduction cartridge. And it's selling... The, the guy's an idiot. The guy's, it does say repro in yeah. the description. Um, it doesn't look like a reproduction, but he's selling it for the pr equivalent price that the actual original cartridge sells for. Well, if you want to slip like, in under the radar, the problem is, is if you he's do... not, he's saying repro in it. Well, but the thing is, is if you were to sell it for less than that, it's so obviously that you're doing it. It's such a confidence move. It's it like, is. And, and there's people who try and rip people off yeah. saying, oh, this is the original, but it's actually reproduction. 
or it's the people that know it's a reproduction and just sell it for the cost and plus profit. Right? It's a huge issue in China. Oh, um, they they I mean, don't have copyright. There's no IP. When no. I was there, you go into these places which have booths and booths and booths of electronics, and you don't you don't know what you're getting. I bought a little thing. I bought like an SD card. Oh no no never <laughs> ever buy SD cards. There was not. I, I there was. I almost. I reached a point where I was like five thousand terabyte SD card. Wow, whoa. that's awesome. It'll actually report as five thousand terabytes, but it'll actually be two hundred fifty six gigs. That's right. And like USB three, you plug it in. I'm like, this is sl the slowest. <laughs> transfer i've seen in my entire life this it's is terrible terrible so the options are um so how do you feel about reproduction cartridges first option is never original or nothing it's illegal and immoral oh uh, dear uh, number two is only when the original is no longer for sale see it's interesting like, okay it's I'm, like I'm... Well, i can't physically legally buy this anymore like no money i can i can ne not give money to the original yeah um, distributor or the artist this is impossible and the only way I can get this is if I buy a reproduction because the original is five hundred dollars and I don't have five hundred dollars or I can't even find it or whatever and the third option is yes please what's copyright especially if I can save two dollars why, <laughs> why pay the artists <laughs> so that's the options obviously I'm very slanted on this there you go so you can type just in the chat just type one or two or three it's a it's a psychological um, conundrum that is really typical, actually, that when we, um, let's say we borrowed money from a person, we yes. are very, 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 very likely to pay that money back. If we borrow money yes. from an institution or a group that's nameless, we're much less likely. It's so interesting how we have a different relationship, too, because yes. that's in the homebrew community. There's definitely that feeling of like, oh, these are real people. Yes. We can see them type. They're in the chat. They're in the forums like these are physical real people but i mean to your point of oh this is say activision or, yeah or whatever company it's like oh it's just a big nameless company what's five dollars to them they won't notice it missing totally it's like yeah. when you like go into you want to like uh i used to work in like clothing stores and people would come in and want to like return an item or something yeah. and i would always do it i was like who cares this is like this isn't my company i'm like i'm not right. this company totally can handle it if this person didn't get what they wanted whatever i'll return it and then like you get store credit so it's like it's, right. it keeps going and then i remember there'd be people who would just be like no and they would be a stickler about it. i'm like <laughs> what are you why are you like the ceo of this company like who cares yeah. but that was always my perspective but but it is weird it's like when you're dealing with a corporation or an institution we have a different relationship to it because i don't i definitely i would never ever ever i i would strongly come uh, butt heads against someone um doing a reproduction of a homebrew just because of, i feel like these are real people but i don't know why my brain mm. sees it differently that is in an like interesting a, perspective in like a different it, your answer is depends on always who it is definitely. that i'm ripping off um so i am going to go for one original or nothing but there are cases of two where I would buy a reproduction. Well, yeah. And I believe I have one reproduction cart. And it's not really, it's not even really a reproduction. It is uh, an NES game. Yeah. Let's see if I have it available. Uh, no. Not easily available. I know there's those very famous, um, very extremely expensive NES games that are quite legendary, which are like from competitions. Yeah. Um, that are like unplayable b b unless oh, you get yes, a reproduction because right. they're like thousands and thousands of and dollars. There's only one. Yeah. Or, or five of them, and they're all in the hands of collectors already. Exactly, yes. and it's kind of like oh, but then I don't know why you wouldn't just get like a like an emulator of it or something, you know? <laughs> like, mm, yeah, exactly. That you could just that's do that. The other argument you don't need to buy reproductions like is... why why are you getting a reproduction that's the first question when you can get it on rom right maybe you can't get it on rom maybe that's one of the things but um the one i bought is a game that is like free three hundred dollars first of all it's it's very very expensive and it was never released in north america so there is no North American copy I can physically play. Yeah. See, so I, I got a um, NTSC release of it, of a, an NES game. 
it's because I can't play the Japanese in, in my North American Nintendo. So it's just impossible. And it's you an wanna, impossible thing to get. And you want to you want to play it. I want to play that game. So it was the only way I could do it. You like could. They, they did not give the option of a North American person to play this game. So it forced my hand. It's, you can see <laughs> so why you can see why corporations from my generation have moved towards free to play because of like mm. I think my attitude is probably I, I'm not gonna I don't want to be a spokesperson for my generation because that's <laughs> stupid I can only speak yeah. from I but I would say that from the people who are who are my age I think that we have definitely. Uh, uh, we care less about things like you know we'll, we'll uh, digital theft and stuff like that. Yes. So you can see why the corporation or the model has shifted towards a free to play because yes. I and you think about things like Spotify, you think about things like Steam have shifted yeah. towards making it easier for you as to easy as possible to watch it or get it. Because I reach, I remember when I was in college, there was this issue where it was harder to spend money for something than it was to pirate, and that was a yes. really huge. issue issue where it's like it i would want to watch a movie and i'd be like there is no video stores anymore there's <laughs> yes. no um like i can spend eight dollars to like download something from itunes if it's listed yeah or i can get it for free and it was it, this thing where i was like standard definition yeah you know, it, and, itunes yeah and then you can get and so that was one of those things where i was like well i don't know this is like such a conundrum because i want to watch this thing and the biggest market is also the people with the least amount of money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like these people, they're going to school or they're barely struggling to get by and they want to be entertained, but they just don't have any money yeah. to spend on it. But as you get older, you have more money to spend That's on right. it. So, and the, the, the effort that you have to put into um, uh, to pirate it or to get it illegally is just harder and harder and you just lose touch with how to do it. Absolutely. <clears throat> and somebody posted in the in the chat about Man Goes Down um, that this the author has disappeared and gone. They're gone. So they can't even ask permission. He had health problems and he just disappeared and went away out of the community. And, but the, the community is respecting his his they're not making a cartridge yeah. of it i mean it is available for rom though you can and, you can download it so it's not that big a deal and but. and i was going to say too now i think it's a little different because we have netflix we have spotify we have things we have these platforms that are um you can pay on a subscription basis but then there's this huge issue where these subscription based models are really monopolies and what do we do about that i mean that's yeah. a huge issue that we're we're beginning and you i think actually we're in well, the, starting to tr tr uh, transition to splintering now yeah to more and more i mean actually well mm, sort yes of no. right this is disney has now bought up everything correct um so it's consolidating again a little bit because they're taking all their ip off of all these multiple platforms and now it's like disney owns so much stuff if you've ever looked at their chart oh it's unreal. and now netflix that's why netflix knew that was coming and they've been making their own stuff for quite a number of years now. This is smart, so man. They're fi and they're doing really well. Great. Well, they're, they're kind of HBO topic, model. But, but any, but it is, yeah, it is HBO model. But yeah. it is an interesting thing where we are starting to see monopolies in a way we've never seen before yeah. digitally. I mean, people are getting their news exclusively from Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. Um, people are exclusively yes. getting music from Spotify. People are getting exclusive. So it's actually weird because in this great kind of like free revolution of media, it's good and bad. We're also getting like unheard of um, filtering. Yes. Yeah. You don't. It's not as wild and open anymore. Yeah. You so get what we give you. So so pay for the homebrew. That's guys. right. Pay for hey, hey no, militant an, Buddhist man. Um. So I put up the poll results so far. Uh. It is heavily. Uh, leaning on the, I realize um, I'm the I'm the villain. The, I just realized somewhat the outlier today. <laughs> I'm the villain. Seventy percent of... is no, never. I will never buy um, reproduction, and then thirty percent is only when the original is no longer for sale. Because yeah. then, you know, they physically can't give the money to the artist. There's nobody losing money anymore. Dude, militant Buddhist is with 2. me. Two point five. Oh, he's leaning. <laughs> Towards like it's like ah oh, whatever I just buy what's out there if yeah, it's cheap man. it's cheap somewhere in between there is reproduction and lack of prototypes looking at twenty six hundred CPS yeah there yeah that's a whole different thing 
is is reproductions of games that never came out. Yeah. Like they just never finished them. They were just prototypes. They never offered it for sale. It just never existed. So you're not there. The company is not losing out, but it's is still their IP. So you are taking something from them that they never offered to you. <laughs> yeah. And they will never offer it to you. They're not going to make a 2600 game. Why not just get like a uh, like what you've got? You know, what is it? The Harmony card. Is Harmony that what, card. Yeah. You know, why not do something like that instead of spending money, giving, throwing money to someone who's just three D printed something? And yeah, it, you know that feels a little rough. <laughs> it is. I mean, I guess people like it on their shelves. They like unique yeah, things. Yeah, you know. So. Uh, there's no real perfect answer. People yeah. have people have their own morals and opinions about what what is right and what is fair. Yeah, and it's a it's a weird area when it comes to digital entertainment compared to, say, other things, we see it differently. Mm -hmm. Oh, Thomas J. fixed the newest Xevious. And there's people who, f who take these reproductions and actually finish them yeah. and fix the problems. But it's really interesting. Um, uh, so mail and news and feedback. Uh, un unconventional uh, on YouTube left a message about the last episode. Um, you guys have great discussion and information on here. Great job. Why are there no other comments on here? This channel deserves to be bigger. And I agree. Dude, Thank I was you. I was bracing myself for some some bad news, some but, critiques. No, it's there's all always good. a but on the internet, so yeah. I, was, I was ready. It's it's that's again my my psychology. I'm ready for someone to cut us down <laughs> at any second. Yeah, I, it's just it's he's amazing. Really happy, and he thinks you know we deserve more attention. Wow. And yeah, thank you so much for that comment. I mean, we are a subgenre of a subgenre of a subgenre of, a sub of so this tiny little community, which I think is awesome. Because we get, you know, these these people that we get to know. Dude, I think this is one of the best communities I've been a part of. <laughs> it's I'm, really I'm, I'm awesome. not kidding when I say that. I mean, mm -hmm. I think most of the internet is toxic and <laughs> shitty, personally. It is. Having grown up on it, and this is a beautiful little kind of like oasis of just people who are nice. Like, I yeah. don't know. It's weird to me. as Because <sighs> as you grow with a community, you start getting these elements that come in and then you have to start like oh we need somebody to watch the chat and kick yeah. out these people because they start spamming crap in the channel and and it starts getting out of control yeah and it's kind of in a nice little it's nice place right now yeah where we got the regular watchers and the regular listeners and they contribute and these are the guys who make the games and it's just it's a beautiful spot right now. there's this philosophy in anthropology which is that mm. um humanity was meant to be about a hundred people large i've heard that yes and when you get beyond a hundred people it, 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 it problems happen <laughs> <laughs> yes and we're at six billion so like but they but it, problems are happening totally yes. but that idea of like a small community there's a there's a natural sort of um people know each other there's this is it's you you can hold a hundred people in your head those are a hundred individuals yeah. you know you have it's a community and then when you get larger than that it turns into um it's just crap garbage well, yeah but then you need some form of structure or some sort of hierarchy the police bring in the thugs totally <laughs> yeah. and because of issues right and then in you and you have to figure out like some sort of financial some sort of exchange of labor yeah, and yeah. all this stuff yeah there's the cooperation breaks down totally um impaler says you should have at least a thousand YouTube <laughs> subscriber who doesn't like love 26 <laughs> great point impaler. exactly and uh we had somebody posted about last show while we're streaming live on Reddit saying, Hey, this is a cool stream. Come come see come see us. Wow. And we got a whole bunch of people coming That's in. That's dope. Yeah, watching the channel. So that was really, really cool. Reddit would was. be a cool place for us to build up actually, because Reddit was yeah. a, is a perfect I don't know if there's any kind of like twenty six hundred There are there's a homebrew, there's an Atari twenty six hundred um subreddit as well. When I tried putting hey, there's a show, they're like, get out of here with your spam. I was like, okay, I'll never come back. Thanks. Yeah. So I'm reliant upon other people yeah. now talking about it because I I tried. I Gave tried to go. let yeah. people know about it, but they're very, they're very like, uh. And I, the homebrew is general homebrew, and they're more about specific games. Yeah. We want to know about games or how to pirate <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, commercial the games and together. play them on my new newest PS4. Like, yeah. that's their homebrew app yeah, a bit slant rough. on it. That's not as cool. And the Atari 2600 subreddit is more about, 
hey, anybody remember Yar's Revenge? It's like old 80s. Like, that's all they yeah. care about. So there's not really like a good middle ground. They're both kind of extreme about what they care about. Um, but once in a while, you see people posting about Atari 2600 Homebrew in, in both of them. But, uh, yeah, they, they chased me away with a stick. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. Um, Welcome to the internet, though. God yeah. damn. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. Um, it is. So, sadly, my world record on Wall Jump Ninja has been broken what? now. Who, who broke it? Is there anyone we know? It's, it's a guy that does is very good at Atari 2600 games. He has a lot of world records. So, at least it was beaten by a, a great expert. Um, but how much was it beaten by? That's the real two points oh so you can come but back. it's a low p no it's hard game it's a hard game i had 67 yeah and he got 69 so and and it's like you have to be absolutely precise at that level yeah like the the levels at, that he and i were up at like precision like your guy has to go through a uh an area in the wall that is the exact height of your guy and I did calculations of how many pixels the guy goes horizontally, and it's 12. Yeah. So you have to match it, not only jump perfectly, but also match the horizontal timing, and get him through that door within the 12 horizontal pixels. It's rough. Over and over and over. Everything past six, level 65. But... Luckily, there's a 12-hour marathon coming up so, ooh, where we have lots of time ooh, to might beat be, it. I like it. I like it. I gonna think I have a strategy the... to beat it as well because there's there's bonuses that jump you X number of levels ahead. You can <sighs> skip past those levels. So if you time that right, you can surpass hard levels. Smart. So it's, it's a strategy. Um, and I entered my scores on Vault Assault, which we played last episode, uh, cause I got two world records on Vault Assault. Yeah. So I'm a couple votes away from those being m some new world records. So, so I'll, I'll get some more, I'll get some more world records. So it's time to get into our first game done by Wink Dot, which is Ooh. Doom Patrol. And he's here. And he is here. Isn't or uh, she, I don't know. I don't uh, want to. No, it's, his, his name is Ed. Ed, so, okay, Ed. Could be Edwina. Could be. Yeah. I doubt it. There, there's female Eds. Yep. So let's, let me get this uh, going here. And we'll switch over to the Atari. There Sweet. You go. I think the Atari is loaded up already. So let me just switch I mean, this. Oh, I know there's no good coffee place. Oh, I don't mind. It's all good. Okay, bottom one, eh? Yep. Um, and then what is it Doom again? Patrol. Doom Patrol. And that one. There we go. Whew. Okay, okay. So this was originally uh, first posted July 4th, 2015, and this build is from September 27th, 2015. Um, let me make sure we have some volume. Yep. And this is uh, was declared finished, this game. It's a 32K game. Other games by uh, Wink Dot are Alien Pinball, Cows, Doom Patrol, and Shark... Jaws Plus and The Deep, and I think we played Shark Jaws Plus, but not any of his other games. And you can download this game in the forums, so it's freely available for everyone. You don't need to get a reproduction cartridge. <laughs> yeah. um, so I, you can just jump right into it, um, shoot everything, don't get hit. Okay. <laughs> that kind of thing. And there's like keys to Whoa. collect, but I'll Is read it, the do instructions. Do I just get the keys? It's like no. It's like, like, oh. Nope. <laughs> Death to you. I, did, I was like... Oh, there we go. There's yeah. some sound. I'll turn up the sound here so here? people can... We can oh, wait for something to happen? No, there's an opening up at the top. Oh, just keep driving? Oh, okay, cool. Whoa. Is that something I pick up? Or? I think it's a void. So, Doom Patrol, as a member of the United Astro Corporation Unlimited, your mission oh, is shit, to... Oh, shit, I can't hit the walls. No. Your mission is to infiltrate Mistakes the tech made, Technotonics base and destroy the super weapon. In order to penetrate the base, you must obtain both keys and then make a dash okay. to destroy the super weapon. Okay. The Technotronics base walls are deadly. Whoa. Avoid them. Okay, the base also has automatic random wall defense that will appear in a random fashion. Very random. Avoid okay. them. <laughs> the super weapon I must think be... I found a key, man. Excellent. Oh, Get fuck. the key. Getting killed though. Excellent. Okay. You've got one key. It one says key. you have to get two. Okay. 
Gotta get two. Uh, the super weapon must be hit five times in order to be destroyed. Uh, know your tank. Your tank is equipped with slightly defective main weapon. Fuck. <laughs> that the UAU purchased on contract. A. I don't know what that is, but it's something. Uh, sometimes the missiles explode prior to making contact. Uh, it will destroy ground and air targets. Oh, it's been opened? Oh, nice. Now you got two keys. Now, <laughs> now you got to go find the super weapon. Uh, it seems to work better at short ranges. The UAU programmers are working to improve it. This is a dangerous one. It's just, yeah, uh, that's why it's dangerous. Oh, God. So you kind of have to wait for them to the pass wave, yeah. and then move in. Okay, well, I know what's up now. Oh, you have to get all the keys again. Oh, you're oh. starting again. Okay. But that's okay. I got a sense yeah. of like what's going on now, at least. You have two shields on each tank. Whoa. Okay. A shield can be replenished if you find an armor icon, which I guess are the A's. I found a couple armor icons. Yeah, so see, there I got hit like yeah. by, by this thing. It's a bit rough, but, you know, <laughs> happens. Oh, the, there's an armor see, I can icon. Get some armor. Ah, so it built up on the right, right hand side. I can, oh, I got. I can kill things too. Just been like a dodge. <laughs> avoid. Yeah, dodge, avoid, kill them. You being, know, being a pacifist right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a pacifist run, guys. <laughs> ah, see that, that shit is, is deadly. Is... Oh, get your armor. But I get some. At least armor. they, at least they supply that. Whoa. Okay. So you have to kind of, kind of risk. This is slow patience, my friends. Patience. Ah, see, don't hit the wall. I got overzealous there. Uh, it's gonna reset me somewhere though. Your tank has improved speed. Use this to your advantage. Staying, oh shit! Staying in a room too long becomes very dangerous. Did you see what happened? I lost my no. key. Oh no! So like, I gotta go back and get the key now. Every time? Every time, apparently. Oh, kind of. Thought I was doing well. Well, your tank did get destroyed. That's a good point. So the keys get destroyed and somehow magically transport back to where exactly. they were. Exactly. Oh no. Well, you haven't been hit. So you don't need the armor yet. Oh, there's the first key. Are they only always in the same place? Uh, appears to be at the moment. Okay. Whoa, that was close. Yeah. Pacifist. <laughs> uh, it just feels to me like... I mean, it's less fun to watch, but it just seems like a better approach to... Uh, wink dots. Oh. Whoa. Mr. Fix says, this looks awesome. It's Dan it. ABC says, nice game. Wink dot, you did very good for a verse game. Holy shit, yeah. Okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm going to go back come to on. your original. So Yay. that the first key opens the second key. Right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And, and so yeah. now we're in a new world. I don't know what's going on. I don't Probably know Probably something has opened since you got the second key and you have to, have to go find the new key. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. Don't hit. lose it. Get an A somewhere. I'll find one. Don't get hit. There it is. Go run for the A. Oh, I think there's a new Whoa, area, man. I feel like. Oh, the red? Yeah. Why are you getting hit? I'm trying, I'm trying to survive. It's not now so, you gotta find an A again. So There's an A, go get the A! Okay, like, interesting. Oh, that's dead end. So that's dead, it's good to know. But there was uh, see, this two is, openings this up is above. Rough, though, Why man. did you just go beeline for that I just, I'm, I'm trying to like, there's a lot to dodge. There's a lot of stuff happening all at once. See, this is the roughest, right? Oh, you ran into a little... It just pixel. appeared right underneath me. I'm going to lose all the keys. Watch, watch. All the keys are gone. No! Okay, good. You got them. Thank God. Oh, no. No, Never mind. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have three tanks in which to complete the mission. If successful, you will attack again against a stronger enemy. So it repeats. Okay. Okay. Uh, at the title screen, press the fire button to start. Okay. The bu fire button also starts a new game of the game over screen. Okay. Joystick controls the tank in four directions, so it's not an eight directional. Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, a joystick button fires a missile in the direction Whoa. the tank is facing. Whoa. See, this is the most dangerous side if you, of. If you exit a room and go back in, does it change the enemies? Ah. Uh, because you could game the system. That's a good point. Because sometimes they come from the side, sometimes they come from there. That's a smart point. So it depends what direction. The exit that you want to go in. What's so interesting? So do is... it here. Okay, now go back out. Go back in. There you go. Oh shit! That's how you game it. <laughs> oh my god! But that feels like cheesing to some degree. It's allowed. You're not oh. typing in. You're not hacking the code. That's a good point. You're doing exactly. I need what... some armor again. It is cheesing. Oh, that appeared right before you went there. <laughs> Cheaty game. It's rough, man. It's all good. We'll keep going. Uh, a difficulty. Okay, wait. Uh, a difficulty. Look at this, man. I'm fucked. <laughs> Look. Do you oh. see that? 
Look at my entrance. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at well, my go exit. Go X out and back in again. It's impossible. But go. did you see that? That's amazing. Yeah, it's completely blocked here. It's literally completely. impossible. It's good the doors don't close. Yeah. After you go or through them, because some games they do that. Whoa. Perfect. Okay. That's perfect. This is a great one. Yeah. This is the most chill one of all. Mr. Fix says kind of Activision like. Yeah. 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 Except as it has flickering. So. I want my keys. I want my keys. Okay. Go. Ah, oh. that's, 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 ah. oh. I'm playing next. <laughs> I know. Oh, I already died. Shit. Uh, a difficulty has been an easier game, so it removes a random wall defense in the gray background bars. Why would you want to get rid of the great back? I feel like this is one that I'm Oh, gonna, I guess because it's hard to see. I'm going to try something different. Um, so we're on the higher difficulty right now. Are we? Okay, good. But I think I was it's pretty like, fair. That seems legit. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, man, I was embarrassed if this was uh, not the higher difficulty. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty liberal with the armor upgrades. Fuck. Oh, God. I'm dead. <laughs> There's no question about this. There's you no can do question. It. Stay low, stay low, stay, stay low. low. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Okay. If you give it a go. There's some more to read Where are we here. At? Oh. There you go. Arena Foot made a comment many years ago about the game. Arena Foot said, still no luck. Now I can't even make it to the gold key. Too hard for me. You're trying. <laughs> Oh my god. It's totally like me. <laughs> you are trying the 0 0.4 version, right? It is a bit easier, but not super easy. If you kill the end boss, the game starts up again and an increased difficulty level. Not that you want to know this. There are over <laughs> five levels of difficulty. Of course, the starting level is the easiest. And kill and kill uh, 517, made it to the boss, and so have I. So it can be done. I've never done it on level 2 yet before, though. Hmm. I guess my advice would be go slow. When entering a room, always fire. That's always good fire. advice. Oh, yeah, it is. If good you're advice. down on armor, they appear randomly. Go from room to room until an armor icon appears so you can uh, uh, armor up your tank. Oh, so if you get uh, wounded, then you can just find some more armor, right? Yeah. Okay, um, uh, this also works if the play field is blocking a doorway. Final pathway to the boss right. is around 17 screens after the first two. The random play field does not appear. Be careful because it's a long pathway. Good luck. Luck is needed. Oh, is there some more stuff here? Wink dot. Oh my god, I was not looking. Sorry. And I lost. Oh, my keys. keys! I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Doom... the, that's, yeah, you can keep going. Okay, keep cool. Uh, Doom Patrol uh, 0 0.7 released. This is optimized and Harmony Cart ready. And some minor updates also. And special thanks to Ayas Bosta. Ah. For helping to optimize this one, he showed me some great stuff. This ends my ends my getting into scanline um, com compliance. <laughs> scanline, yeah. I if the scanline numbers are jumping, uh, the screen will start jumping. Get a new level, man. This is fucked. Yeah, those. That's the hardest one. Uh, uh, and especially won't work for us on the. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is? I got it. <laughs> that guy is like. It's like new level. <laughs> oh boy, this guy is. Ah. Oh. Oh wow, well, it's just one piece of armor. But there it is. Oh, uh, quick! Oh man, that's, that guy, what the hell? This he guy, follows you horizontally. Shoot him! Shoot that motherfucker! Oh yeah, I can shoot him. <laughs> I've been playing the pacifist. Uh, You've been doing mode. the Erlen approach. Yeah, no bullet mode, no bullet win, hundred <laughs> percent. Oh what? Got killed instantly when I went into that yeah, room. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah, 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 that's cool, cool, it for cool. the, the notes. This is no. harder than... Did you spell? Yeah, I did. Uh, like, the stuff tiny, on the ground? It's a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. It's like nothing. Is there a claw? I'll go run up and get it. I'm yeah, sorry. That's Can okay. Like here? Oh my god. I apologize for chastising you. This is not as easy as it looks. Milton Buddhist, I wish there was one easy location for Dell downloadable uh, homebrews. Well, hmm, is that a good idea to do that? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, what? Well, there's kind of, because uh, Arena Foot has a... It's uh, all good, I can take it. A little chastising. <laughs> Never hurt anybody. Arena Foot maintains the list of all homebrews, and he has links to all where you can download all the homebrews. Yeah. 
so it's kind of one step removed because it's kind of it's kind of bad to kind of just make a big list <laughs> dude mr fix says there comes a time in every man's life where he must shoot <laughs> yes is it did you say that or is that no, that's the original good I, I, I was worried i just missed it you might have been shoot. quoting you it's time to shoot james ah uh, shoot no because then i just waste my time kind of um Concentrating on shooting. Like that. I need horizontals. Horizontals. Thank you. And I need and armor. So stay so on the great. left here. Stay on the left until absolutely necessary. Just and go for it. And push. Yeah, this is possible. It's just not the easiest one. I just don't like that UFO one where the guy just follows you, but oh, I yeah. just forget to shoot. <laughs> so it's my fault. Okay. So, time for key. So this okay. is, is this the first time you've gotten this key? No, I did get it, I think I got it before, but then I just died. Cause, cause so, so you gotta redo oh, it, man. Look at that. That's what happened to you, block the entrance. Just Luckily rough. there's a reset. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and then you gotta stupid. get it again, man. Oh, this is a, so it's stupid. It's such a tough game. Because I just accidentally pressed in the wrong direction. It almost doesn't wall. matter that you have three lives. Because no. you just, you gotta do the thing. You, you have know to know start I mean? from scratch. What Whoa! the hell? That was like a double hit. One on one screen and one on the other. Okay, let's do this thing. Yeah, he's like, uh, Milton Buddha says he's from Texas. He yeah. says, just start shooting everything. I love, <laughs> I can't I can't describe to you how happy it makes me that the Milton Buddhist is from Texas. <laughs> this is the best That's turn hilarious. of events. It's amazing. That is pretty funny. I think it'd be sweet if there was a place um, like that, but it cost a little love uh, for the latest versions, like a band camp for homebrew. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's not a bad idea. To set up like a... Oh, that's what's killing me. Just random appearing garbage. Uh, RC70 says the game is causing you both to make Darcy level outbursts. Yeah, it's, it's um, frustrating because just the things that happen on the screen are... The stakes are high. They're very that's random. The, that's the thing, man. Because if you if you screw up, there you, we go. You, I don't think you can do it though. Can you do it? Oh, oh yeah. There's enough room, right there. One ooh, pixel. Ooh, ooh, you got it. What the? Oh, I thought I hit something, but I didn't. No, you good? You fine. good? You good? This is just like, just go with traffic. Yeah, go with the traffic. Ah, ah. Does does Darcy have outbursts? I'm sure he does. Yeah, he can be prone to them. Cause I, I, when I don't, things get frustrating. I gotta watch a show that Darcy's on. I've never seen a show with Darcy. <laughs> Nobody's ever is, watched the other hosts. <laughs> which is so, it's such a funny thing, right? I need an A. Give me an A. Ooh. You do risk run the risk of that when you go back and forth. And it's so rough, right? Because it's like, it, who cares that you have three lives, man? Look at that crap. And it destroys you because it doesn't move you. Like, when you fall on one of those little squares... Oh, if it appears underneath you, you're which dead. is possible. You're dead, oh, because so it hits you twice. This is this is a ruthless game, man. Oh, this is a cool God. game. Like, it seems so doable. Like, it's, it's like, oh yeah, easy, right? Easy, go get some keys, and then win the game. Militant Buddha says, as awesome as this game seems, it would give me Tourette's, I can just tell. Oh, yeah. We're basically getting Tourette's playing it. You almost have to cheese the game, because it's so it's so it's brutal. so hard. It's a gauntlet. That's what this it is. It is. You're running the gauntlet here. And, and there's and it's and there is oh no God. um there's no room for error. Like you, like there you go. Dead. dead. Just instant. I, it did say in the in the shoot. In, yeah, shoot as you go into a room. The second that you go in, shoot. It's good like, I don't want I don't want those. I need vertical. There we go. Vertical for a horizontal door. And horizontal guys for a vertical door. Yeah, you got door. this. That one's not too bad because it's at the bottom. But if they're appearing out from where the door is. Ooh. Come on! <laughs> we gotta get like at we, least uh, At least to uh, the boss. Yeah, just so Have we can to. see the boss. We gotta show our, our friends the boss. Yeah. And show that we're not completely inept. Yeah. This is not it's a cool game. It looks easy. <laughs> it's one of those games that looks like, oh, why, why are you screwing up so much? It's so funny to me that, like, as I as I go upstairs, you're like, I'm sorry for chastising you. Oh, yeah. For sure. This is not easy. I need armor. But 
I'm also risking that. Ooh. I'm not gonna do that. I'm yeah, that's, that that's the thing. You, you 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 take the risk, right? Yep. See that thing? Whoa. Yeah. These close. doors are menacing. Doors are intense. This <laughs> pier is right there. <sighs> the little squares are mines. Okay. It's true. Thank yeah, you. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mines dropping anywhere. Look, there's that one oh. roaming alien. He just. But if you if you remember to shoot, it's fine. <laughs> but if you don't remember to shoot, you're. I like that tip, arena's tip. That's a good tip. Which. Every time you oh. enter a room, shoot. Yeah, it's hard though because you have to time it up perfectly. Oh, I got hit. I didn't even notice. Okay, I need an A. Oh. Oof! Got you. Got this. Ah! <laughs> oh, rough. Ah! I feel like a militant Buddhist um, <laughs> having some issues. <laughs> he, he, no, he's he's expressing the Tourette's that he's feeling from uh, watching. Just even watching. Even watching, he's experiencing. That. Yeah, it is. This is challenging. Man, I'd love to go to Austin Die. someday. I think Austin would yes. be a cool place to hang yeah, out. Yeah, Tanya and I want to go there for sure. I keep submitting there's, there's... films to the Austin Film Festival. Is a dream <laughs> festival for me. It is. Not only is it a cool one. festival. Um, it's like, it just strikes me as, damn it, those mines, they Austin's kill you. Austin's a bit overrated. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, killing my like, dreams, oh, man. No. It's, I'm sure, I'm, it's probably, I mean, I, I feel the same about anywhere that I live. You know, when you, <laughs> well, when you, you get used to it, yeah, but you, you're like, oh, the cool things are like, yeah, they're always there. Those yeah. cool things. What would be a cool place to hang out in Texas other than Austin? He said his yeah. dog hit the keyboard when he's getting played <laughs> to the sink. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Looks like an animal kind of typing. Oh, when you kill something, it doesn't come back. Oh, that... This changes the whole this game, This changes James. the dynamic. Look. Now you can do it. Well, I do have to watch out for stupid mines, but yeah. Oh, what the hell just happened there? There's nothing in this. And then you got... Oh, Killed man. by a mine. Okay. This is outside Dallas. Cool. So what's the cool place in Texas? Oh, he said for me, because I'm young, I'd, I'd probably dig Austin. Oh. <laughs> it's a young town. Whoa! Can you shoot the mines? Can you shoot the mines? No, no, of course not. <laughs> yeah, he says the music scene's incredible. I bet it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard. I bet it's insane. It's mostly country, right? Yeah. <laughs> mostly. But, you know, there's some cool country out there. I used to be a bit of an idiot and be like, I don't like it, but... It's the slide guitars. It's, <laughs> it's the subject matter. Yeah, I mean, like, I think pop uh, uh, country music is trash, but, like, there's some cool stuff, man. Johnny Cash is as far as I go. <laughs> and that's... I, it transcends country. That's I right. Think. I think it's also me being from Alberta, too. There's Oh, like, boy, yeah. It's the Alberta, Alberta in me. Uh, yeah, for these ones, you gotta just kill these guys. Then you run that mine risk. Well, yeah. But that's always there, that threat. Oh, I gotta do it. New, different game now. Yeah, it's so totally happy you figured game. that out. That's cool. I thought, oh, they just come back. This is What's why it's point? cool for us to play games on stream, because like, if you now want to pick this game up, you know. You know how to play it properly. Or at least a little bit better. <laughs> Get the second key. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get to the boss and then promptly die. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it let you keep the keys. Oh, Red Deer. I'm from Edmonton. Red Deer, but, I, but, but there's a reason why I moved to Vancouver. I definitely prefer Vancouver to, to where it is. It's just cold like eight months out of the year. Oh, God, yeah. It gets down to minus 40. Oh, yeah. Edmonton's very it's northern. Terrible. It's one of the one of the more northern towns that's like highly populated. So here is like paradise. and like <laughs> Weather-wise? Yo, yeah. it's, it's insane. It's beautiful. It varies by 20 degrees. That's it. Yeah, it, it, it varies by 70 degrees. Oh, what? Is this is dead, dead end? end, right? you got to now find the, the boss, which is tricky. This is only a one-way as well. Okay. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. 
think it's this way. I think so too. Need an A. Well, I think Badly. is there something up top? Oh, you see that? That, looks that feels like a boss to that me. That does look like but a boss. But you gotta get some armor, dude. I do. This is where I might cheese a little bit, pop I, I in and out until to. you get like a, a, especially with these mines. Oh god. Oh god. This, yeah. See if you go this way. There's nothing. Oh look, there's. No, I don't think I need to go up there. I think you have to just keep going. Oh. You have to keep going to the right. I think that's it. This is the yeah. boss area. Do you want to go again? Sure, I'll try one. Okay. It's currently 22 degrees in uh, in Texas. Yeah, that sounds about uh, right. That sounds that sounds about right for sure. Oh my god, this game. Oh yeah, I'm feeling like. <laughs> what? What happened there? Oh, you didn't die. Okay. I just got hit by somebody. We might want to try the easy level. I don't know. So, so just I don't so know what. Can, just what so we can beat it, you know. Yeah, just so we can see, and then go back to the harder. Although I'm getting some lucky rolls right now. You are. Whoa! Did you see that? No. I got. <laughs> got the key. Oh shit! <laughs> I thought that I got hit. Oh no no! You're good. Okay. Shoot that guy first. Shoot all the guys. Oh, oh shit! My God. Just what the hell? Ripped. <laughs> Very. How do I get my homebrew featured on your stream? Oh, good question. Very good question. Um, first of all, you tell me, you send me a message saying, hey, I have a homebrew. Here's the link to it. Please check it out. And then I will oh, take a look at it and oh, make sure it is playable on an actual system because a lot of, a lot of homebrew, especially in its, in early iterations have uh, line count issues, um, which makes the field. screen flip or go blank. So I'll do a test, make sure it's all good. If it's not good, I'll say, hey, you have line count issues. Here's how to figure them out. And uh, then you uh, make sure it's good. And also you want to make sure that it's in a good state to be shown on the show as well. Um, that it's... Uh-oh. Like, it doesn't have to be finished. Game. We play a lot of work-in-progress games on the show. Um, it just has to be in a state where it's like, hey, this is kind of what the game's about. Because a lot of people, programmers, want to s want feedback on their games. Like, it's in, a, it's in a certain state. It's got all the elements, the basic elements to it. I would stay low and shoot them. Oh, actually, they kind of stay in their own lanes, yeah, don't they? Yeah, I kind of... I... Need some Ooh. armor, though. Yeah, you're down one. Yeah, I really do need some armor. I mean, uh, I feel like it's almost like a, a miracle if you can just get both keys and then like to try to do anything else. Um, yeah, line count. Uh, usually, usually it's two hundred sixty. Look, fate. Get it? Get it? Yay! Fate. Usually it's two hundred sixty-two lines, but it can be more or less. It doesn't okay, really so, matter too much. So James. Yes. Bottom. Yep. Yeah, bottom, and then it's over, I believe. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, and then oh. it's. I would shoot all these things. It's too dangerous. Uh, I don't know if I or can. Or try and it. cheese for an A. Oh, god damn it. Give me okay, I can do this. Yeah. Oh. You said over, right? But as soon oh, as fuck. I got the two keys, See, like, I didn't get any A's. Oh, there you go. Oh, quick, come quick, on, quick. come on, come on, come on. Oh, god. Okay, After you're doing Over well. to the right, eh? Just keep on going to the right. Keep on going. This is the farthest we've ever made it. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm going to go up. I don't no, know No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. It's a full straight line. It's a straight Well, I wanted over. to know. I was they, like, somebody said that. It's like did they? Oh, I wanted 20 to, screens over. Oh, I wanted to take the risk and see like what <laughs> if, if, the, if it was a thing. Yeah, if it's in a preliminary state, it depends. It can be... If it's, try one? if it's playable and there's we, the basic elements there, we could, you know, we get feedback live yeah, on the show. Yeah, play lots of works in progress, man, for sure. Yep. Because it's like, you know, especially... And it's cool to see games develop. I think definitely... Yes, it I, is. If you make big progresses between them, we'll for sure yes. play them. Yeah. Like, if you kind of like, oh, I, I changed the color of the guy. It's no. like, well, oh, sorry. It's not going to be any different. But if but if you do some... If you're actually developing your game, I mean, that's so awesome. We almost Sometimes we almost workshop them a bit, actually, which is, which is fun episodes. It is, yeah, where we go, oh, what can be done? 
to this yeah, game. Yeah, and, and then it chat does too, right? Chat oh, has because if you have and there's so many insane programmers who watch the show, so they 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 will give you advice as well, which is or even troubleshoot problems. Yeah, be you know, and like offer things. You can ask them questions as they play too. So it's a cool, <laughs> it's a cool option. Yeah. So, and usually I careful, man, because you got those. Now you can't oh, really God. go. Pointless. Killed everyone for no reason. Yep. But I, I am you, injured, so I, I do want that. Get that. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, the first step is just yeah, send me a message on um, social media or the Atari Age forums. I mean, just posting your game in the Atari Age forums is a very very good first step. Uh, the the bin file. But we play a lot of games, man. Like in all honesty, as much as it might feel like. Uh, we, you know, we, what, uh, like three, four games a show, two yeah. shows a week. I like, guess a lot of games. <laughs> it's a lot of games. So there's a really good chance. Hundreds a year. Hundreds. It's a really good chance if you've, if you've made a game that we'll play it, man. Yep. Because that's half the fun. That's why we do it. Some games I do not play on the show because they're just, they're just, there's nothing to them. Like they don't, they don't, they're not even, they don't even make sense. They're, they're not fun. They're just, they're just weird. Oh, I try and I try to play. I try and give them a chance though, because sometimes you look at a game and you're like, "What?" There's definitely been games like weird. that for sure. But then when you get into the game, it's like, "Wow, okay, this is this is got some strategy. It's a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna be." Every so game I, reveals itself as you play. Like this, yeah. this game, for example, is yeah. a great great thing. Like it even looks killing so simple, even the killing surface. the enemies, and like um, uh, that's huge. And you think that it's. It's simple, but it's not. What is the issue with line count? Yeah, well, you want a steady line count. Um, that's how many lines, horizontal, like vertically, um, is being drawn on the screen. Like you can see, uh, this mine here. That's one line. I see. It might be two lines. Um, yeah. It's, anyway, oh, I'll talk about line count on this screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea. Um, so see the middle of my tank tread that that little dot there's three dots on either side of my tank the middle one is one line um and the top one is made, made up of two lines yeah yeah and and usually from top to bottom the whole screen is 262 lines usually it could be a lot more it could be a lot less but if those start varying the number of lines that is shown on the screen like it jumps from 260 to 262 it can cause jitter it can cause equipment to freak out and go oh i'm not getting a proper signal it's jumping but if it's steady 262 all the time uh when you're moving around when a new guy appears when you're going from one screen to the next um then equipment is like happy super happy and that's what you want to achieve is a steady line count all times and stella has great a great um utility in it that it you can press Control l or probably squiggly thing. What is yeah. that called on the Mac? Uh, that little figure eight clover leaf. Oh, command. Command. Command L probably, and it'll put line count on the top of the screen. And whenever it changes, it goes red, which is bad. So if you can watch for the red, and also you can do break on line count change as well. Um, anyway, so um, that'll I help you. By no means am I an expert, but like one thing that oh my God. one thing from from Dying. doing the show for a while is that we always play on hardware, and yes. you, and that's something to keep in mind for. That's um, a bug. Okay, that's I fi fi trying to sorry. I no, finally do figured it. it out. Okay, so I just went from one screen to another. I mean, this game's done. <laughs> we can't we can't alter it. Maybe he w does want to alter it. Um, I uh, wink dot. Uh, I went from one screen to the other through the door. I died immediately, or I got hit twice. Once from a guy that was on the previous screen, it redrew the guy that was on the previous screen in the new location on the next screen. Yeah. And I hit it immediately. There's no... And the, uh, so it's like drawing the guys from the old screen on the new screen. I want to see, watch, I want to see that. Okay, so if I go here, and I go, I'm gonna maybe shoot one of these guys before I do this. No, okay, there we go. Okay, so 
So there's three guys going. Oh, I didn't do it that time. Anyway, it redrew it. If you do it frame by frame, you'll see something really weird happening there. Anyway, sorry. I can't remember what you're talking oh, about. Oh, I was just saying that um, <laughs> one thing to keep in mind about the show is that we always play on hardware. So yes. if you haven't tested your game on hardware, you might find some surprises. Yeah, you will. We get complaints sometimes where people go, oh, well, it worked on like an emulator. I don't know why it didn't work here. And it's, it is a different thing. Like when you plug it into a system and we play Harmony Kart, right? So it's like yeah. you have to... It's usually to do with the line count. That's yeah. the difference because Stella is super forgiving about line count. It won't it won't jump. It won't do much unless it's really bad. Yeah, so that's like... Um... What? That's a really weird thing. It's because you killed everybody. Then I got points going into... What is happening? What? Did you just... Did you I just beat the game? Is this... Oh, well... Oh, no, they're back. No, no, no. But I killed everything, and then for the next two screens, nothing was there. Wild. That's interesting. That was in, in the instructions. I feel like... are crap. Yeah, they only go so far. <laughs> but like... it did say that in the instructions. Like, you have a very... Uh, bad weapon. <laughs> yeah. But but the best thing you can do is just chuck it on some hardware and try it out. If it yeah. works on your hardware, it'll probably work on ours. Yeah. A lot of people don't have a Harmony Kart and uh, uh, a system to try it out Good on. Good point. But, um, but if you throw it in the forums, usually there's a lot of people that's willing to test it. Please, come on! Oh. What's the chat talking about? technical things uh yeah some stuff that i don't really get but it's i'm happy it's there i suppose just swooped in and is helping us out which is oh good which is really good yeah i i suppose is a, a master programmer especially with sound so you can listen to his sage advice i supposed to made a game called flappy flappy something i yeah. think and he has a sample in it of Homer going dope, but I can't play it on hardware, <laughs> real hardware, because the line count goes insane. Oh no, I'd like to play I and I supposed to game. Yeah, so I don't know if he's ever gonna update that one. Please, I supposed to, if, yeah. you, if you do it, man. I would love to play your game. It's a pretty good little flappy, flappy bird game, but I can't play it, because it blanks out the screen <clears throat> and my hardware goes crazy. Look at that. If you kill everything on a screen, it's blank for the next two, and you get a bunch of bonus points. I feel like this might be the way to play the game. I am thinking so I as think, well. I think we just broke... Broke new ground? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... So I think killing everything that on a screen that's easy... This is not the easiest. Yeah, you just find a new screen. Then. That's true, but you run the risk of destroying yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Just... But if you hang out too much around the mines, it's like, oh, you know... This one's an easy one. They go in the straight lines. <clears throat> yeah, the mine can kill you instantly. Get that. Okay, now this is the Just run. Just push. Just push. There's wow. no. No, I have to kill this. Or I'm gonna... Okay, run for it. Oof. That's tough because this was an easy one, too. Yeah, it is. Oh, I Oh, you that. got it. You got it. An easy one to get the A, too. You might want to kill everybody on the screen, honestly. I think so. This is a good one to do the extinction. And, and for some reason, I'm not seeing any... Uh... Oh, no mines. Yeah, I don't know Maybe why. Maybe there's no mines in the run towards... That would be awesome. Damn it. Whatever happened there, I ran into a guy immediately. That was so cheap. Now I need a armor. There's no mines still. That's good. That's a good sign. I need an A. Oh, my God. Seriously? Oh. No, I think we got to move on, man, because what is it? It's like we're at, like, really, 12. Really want to beat this. Okay. Okay. Because we got to go. We got to push for some high scores. <laughs> we do. That's for true. the other one. I just want to make sure you got enough time to, to do well, because I want you to do well on this. Uh. Yeah, so do I. Okay. So let's uh, let's move on. It's a cool game, though. Fuck. This game, not to be mean, just the fact is frustrating play caused by newbie code that I helped with. <gasps> newbie code. Okay. Ready? Got it. Uh, yeah, Impaler put it well. That nice game, but those uh, cheap deaths need to be fixed. Yeah. It's just It's just a tough gig. So it's Bag Boys next. Ooh, ooh, 
Oh yeah, this is a... Uh... This is a work in progress. It's kind of a weird, unique game. Um, so let's get that on the screen. Um, turn that down. This feels like an arcade game. Constant. Yeah, very arcadey. A lot of things happening. Is this... Am I playing, or is this something... <laughs> it throws you right into the game. Am I like... What's going on? Am I... Can I move around? Yeah, you're the guy at the top. Okay, okay. So I gotta go through this? You you gotta get grocery carts and return them to the guy at the top. Okay. Like, and get him away from that dude who's like, hey. stealing your score. Oh, come on, buddy. God damn. And don't get hit by cars. Okay, this is by Kev Kelly. Uh, 2009 work in progress. Thanks. First posted October 6th, 2018. I feel like I'm Marty McFly for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It just has this Marty McFly feeling, this whole. Uh, this build is from March 13th, and I actually compiled this oh, from a basic it. code, thanks to the oh, help of Visual it. Studio Coder, which made it so easy. Just one button, I was able to, to compile it, because some of the things he's been posting, because oh. he needs help, he's been posting it in basic um this is a 32k game and his first ever game by kev kelly and you can download this in the atari age forums kev and he's from orlando cool bag boy you play the ep eponymous hero bag boy in this parking lot adventure you must heroically stop shopping carts from rushing into moving cars this but is quite the parking lot man <laughs> But be careful. Uh, oh, you must also avoid by getting hit by cars while you bring the carts back to the store where the customer awaits. Drop off the cart and then head back out before another reckless patron potentially plows a cart <laughs> with their motor vehicle. Wild. So very, very arcadey. It's new. I mean, I think that this is more of a, like, this is a work in progress, right? This is more oh, of yeah, almost yeah. a demo, because, like, at the moment, I should have died, like, a long time ago. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any dying in the game yet. It's just... Um, but I love the the parking lot screen with the it's lines. It's crazy. It's, it's so It's really good. good. And the cars there's and a little, little Do you guy. see there's, like, a little blip yeah. whenever I... Because, see, I go up to the top, and there's, like, this... It's oh, almost no. like lightning is There striking. is actually lightning in the game. What? You can see the yellow. It's really, really quick. That needs to be held a bit longer, I think. But it's really nice lightning. Oh, cool. So it's like there's a storm happening storm right now. Storm brews. Yeah, it needs... If if you're watching Kev Kelly later, that the lightning flashes need to... Even though it's realistic, it needs to stay longer Yeah, it almost screen. looks like a glitch. Yeah. I, I, I see it now, though. And maybe when it strikes, you need to go... Yeah, like, like what? Like thunder, rumbly, low um, noise, like white yeah, noise. Something that would be good. And make it maybe uh, less Can frequent. I get struck by lightning? Is that what can happen? Maybe, but I don't know how you'd ever avoid that. It's so quick. It's just like... It's like it's the like mines. Death. It's the mines of... Yeah. Of this game. Um, Come on. Whoa. I love to change the word grocery to Brookshires. As a real-life bag boy in the past, carts were in the lot were the bane of my existence. <laughs> Melvin Buddhist says, yes, it's storming in the game. If the lightning hits Whoa. the cart, you go back in time. <laughs> what? Oh, so no, they... No, no, he's, he's... It's a Marty, he's Marty McFly, McFly reference. I was so excited. Good time. Like, Good time. I was like, is that real? Did I get it right? Oh, man. And definitely, um, Paler is right. This is in a very original concept. I have never heard of a game that you're collecting carts in a... In a um, it's very meditative, parking lot. actually. Yeah. It's, it's and uh, it might be pushing it that uh, you could call the main character Bubbles from park, uh, Trailer Park Boys. That's right. Because he collects, he's not, he doesn't work for the grocery store, but he does collect carts. <laughs> so it might not work too well. Um, so February 22nd, 2019, That's I finally got villain. the power-up generation working the way I want. I still have things to tweak like duration, collision, preferred sw spawning area, sound, color, etc., so there's four power-ups right now. There's an energy drink. This will eventually give a boost of speed. Cool. Over time, represented by a little clock, give puts a little bit more time on the counter. So there's not a timer yet. Yeah. So there's going to be a timer to collect carts, I guess. Um, that was a one-up. Adds one life. Uh, and there's a money. A little dollar sign will add to the score, which is awesome. Love this guy steals from me. It's just like... <laughs> yeah, there's like a... A, that's bubbles. 
He's stealing the carts. Yeah. For sure. Maybe you can change the name a little bit. Bubbles might be a little bit too close to the IP yeah. of Trailer Park Boys. One up. <laughs> um, so he posted yesterday, because I announced that I always tell, put in the forums which yeah, games I'm going to play. And he said, sadly, I work tomorrow when this airs, but I, oh, buddy. but I can't wait to watch. I'm curious as to thoughts and how people other than myself play it and any feedback to make it better. Uh, I know I haven't updated over a month. I've been working That's on it, okay. but I haven't made any huge developments. People haven't updated things in years. Oh my god, like so, seven years sometimes. So a month is no problem. <laughs> yeah, that's not a big Take deal. Take your time. So there are some things at the bottom happening. Yeah. Like some little things coming up once in a while. So like we got the cars, we got this guy. The I score's don't think, working. I don't think he can steal. I mean, he can, I guess. So yeah, the score is working. You just got something. But then yeah. disappeared. I don't know what that red thing is. So like, and then it disappeared when you got the cart, and the red thing so came back. So this guy's stealing my stuff as usual. Bubbles. There you go. Now you got two red things. I think oh, those are those are like build health. Up. You have to build up. And then if you get hit, you lose it. Oh, I think you have to like finish your shift by getting the carts, getting enough carts in enough time, and so it I goes can go down. Home. Yeah, it's exactly finish go home at because this it's a storm outside that's uh, why all the customers are, are like driving away uh very quickly because of the storm <laughs> Storm, the storms are ruined the customers are uh <laughs> i think the red goes away because you got hit try not to get hit yeah oh no it just randomly went away you didn't get hit or got struck by lightning potentially maybe I don't know. It's just still like that. I still don't understand necessarily like the that side of things. It'd be awesome to have like. Uh, so I think he's just getting things working at this. Yeah, moment. he's just trying stuff getting, out. Uh, so there's no there's no goal. There's no end right now. It says there's no real difficulty progression yet. I use the fire button to change the score so I could test things, but I haven't set intervals for like. Can you press the button. Oh yeah, the score goes up when you press the button. Yeah. Okay. Intervals like extra cars or speed to start. Uh, things I'm working on. Collision with copies of virtual sprites. Changes in between stage, currently just a raining stage, which looks awesome. The cloud and the lightning. It's the amazing. lightning is awesome. So good. Except it's not on the screen long enough to appreciate it. It's so ah, quick. Ah, ah. Uh, lightning strike effect. Power up interactions. Yeah, nothing really powers up. I'm going to just give myself some points here. <laughs> Rack up the points. I'm yet. I figured out the, 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 the trick. Ever have the manager come in and scream, Would somebody go out and get the effing carts? Happened to me at my job, Mr. Fix says. Game does look fun. Yeah, once it's done and there's like danger and points to get and power-ups, I think it's going to be really, really, really good. And I've been actually waiting to bring this game on the show. Um, this goes back to the question that they have, how to get the game on the show. Earlier, it was... It was like the screen was flipping out and the Looked line crazy. count was crazy. And I let him know, hey, your line, line count's crazy. I can't put it on the show. And he fixed it. It's amazing. And now I can put it on the show. And, and it's stable, right? Yeah. It's, it's not jumping. It's so, not going crazy. And it's... it's first impressions. It's yeah. Um, I would like it if the lightning was a little less frequent. Because <laughs> yeah, it feels like a glitch at the moment. It's Now that I see that it's lightning, it makes sense. But it almost the whole screen yeah. kind of goes out and freaks yeah, me well. out. Um, uh, so less... I think there's a little bit of flickering with the, you see the, you see that there's like, um, uh, with the shopping cart. Like when I grab the shopping cart, it's cool. And then some places it's like losing its mind. It's, it's because you're on the same plane as many other things. Which is probably just not. It's, a, it's just a limitation of the Atari. That's cool then. So other things, they have to flicker. Um, and then, and I would just be, I can't wait to play this game when there's some of the kind of game elements like, yeah. Um, uh, I die if I get killed too much. Um, yes. You know, like, like, uh... Like, you do get hit by cars and reset. Yeah, right? so, yeah. like, but, but, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure yet what the feeling is going to be like. Because I think it'll be a different game if I can lose. Like, right now it's God Mode, which is totally <laughs> cool for, like, testing. Yes. But I think it'll be a really different feeling as soon as it's not that. Definitely. Even, even just make no changes, but make it so I can die, I think I'd play... I, all of a sudden it would be a different game. Yeah, because there's there would be like dangers you'd be like yeah. oh now i have to actually avoid the cars because this feels like a demo right now which is great it's an incredible demo but it and that guy steals your score yeah when he gets the car which is very cool and um i like this like see i got some money yep 
I mean, I would. One thing that would be cool is if some of the power ups would alter the game. Like if you get a power up that stops all the cars. You know, Ooh, like yeah. some shit like that would kind of make me feel a little more inclined. Because at the moment, I feel like I'm just I'm collecting things that just give me scores. Ooh, Mr. Fix had a good idea: a, a random tornado coming into the parking yes. lot that you have to avoid as well. Oh, that'd be awesome! You have to seek shelter or something, or something like that. Would be sweet. Power ups could slow the cars. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And it would be cool if you had them, like, because right now it's sort of random. You know, if they were slower at the top and faster at the bottom, mm. something like that would be nice. Because right now you see they're kind of always they're all at the either the same same rate or kind of oh, randomly the, the quick pink, the pink yeah they're they're pretty oh the pink cars are fast but they're not changing like they're always the same yeah so sometimes maybe a pink car can go through on one level and a blue car that's slower or faster but it would definitely be more interesting if like it was a lot faster near the bottom of the screen and slower near the top so mm. it would like play you know what i mean so it's like you can kind of like right. rush for it and right because you want to get the card as quickly as possible Yes, and so the card so seems the, to come up, so you could kind of like you get less points at the top. And then if, if he you steals it. it near the bottom, then you got to run through a bunch of obstacles, or if he's yeah. or near the middle, it definitely raises the stakes a little bit. And then um, I'm just curious how it all plays. Like I think the upgrades is really where the game could really open up. I think quite possibly the guy comes out too quick from the bottom to steal your cart. Like he almost is on it immediately. Yeah. Maybe the card needs to come from different locations on the screen. Like, it could be on the right-hand side, not always from the bottom. Or the guy trying to steal it is coming from different locations. Be or fun if or he could. doesn't go away. He's just always wandering around. Wandering. That would be great, actually. I prefer because right that. Because right now you kill him. Like, you just, he goes away yeah. when you touch him. Yeah, he's like... The guy at the top needs to be the manager randomly yelling at you. That's right. We gotta get some dialogue there. Yeah, you could have a little bubble. Go back. Hurry! Or something. <laughs> you're fired at like, the end, like right? The, when you die, you're exactly. fired. Exactly. There's a, there's a tornado, man. It's <laughs> lightning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Qbert style. Qbert style. Oh, yeah, you're fired. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's much better, I think, you're fired. And, yeah, you could do the Qbert style hieroglyphic uh, swearing. Yes! That kind of thing. Hurry up. Yeah, just a bunch of different things he could say. Hurry up, you're fired, I mean, swearing. One thing to consider, now this is a, this is a pitch, but yeah. like you have a, uh, a shopping cart, why wouldn't you pick things up with the shopping cart? You know, like if you, if you grab the shopping cart and then you can get the, you can only get the power-ups with the shopping cart. That's a better would, idea. Would be super cool. Because then you grab it and you like grab things and then bring it back. But you can lose points by holding on to the shopping cart too much like it goes down so it's a risk reward yeah because i think that's something that would be a cool bit right i'm like why are we getting the shopping cart without any like without the possibility of picking stuff up because that would just you see there yes but you wouldn't be able to get it without the shopping exactly cart. so there's like an incentive yes very smart. and then you, and your shopping cart can be stolen from you yes by that guy again and then you lose all that your power ups going See, that'd uh, be fun. yeah 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 some stuff to i don't know these are and just only ideas. one power up at a time yeah so to get in the next power up, you have to get a different shopping cart. Yeah, and that and that would be like, and then you have and to have to make decisions. Do you want to get money? Do you want to get points? Do you want to slow yes. everything down? Do you want to? Yep. And then all of a sudden, that would be a way more like, um, I'd be addicted There's to this game. Decisions to make, yeah. So yeah, those are some ideas. <laughs> He's taking your points. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and um uh. You, one thing too is there could be like I mean there should be a number of shopping carts you collect before you're done, you know like you that's gotta, right you gotta There's collect ten and then you like new level and yeah. even if you just change the friggin color of the level it doesn't matter yeah it's I think just... he's going for sky right now that's one thing because this is the lightning the storm level yeah so there might be a sunny day it could be snow level totally and then you can just and then and then i feel like there's some progression and there's something to aim for like oh, maybe with the snow level the parking lot could be white and Ooh. you kind of skid around a bit and it's hard to control your guy awesome. a bit more which is torturous and terrible but it's a good it's a good idea for a level yeah it makes things a little more intense mm -hmm. each level is a different sky yeah that's a yeah, good way yeah. to differentiate it's a great it. method yeah good crushed people yeah <laughs> I, I think that's, I think that's it. it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we, there's not much. We can't beat the game. It's just the same thing over the same. and over Okay, again. we gotta get you. That's good. We gotta get you. Good stuff. Give you some score. You gotta go into this. Okay. Got it.
Okay, which one are we at? Minor? Minor 2049er. Should I try it? Yeah, um, you go first. Oh. oh. Wow. So this is a hack. So it's a it's a hack of a of a game. Ooh. Why is it doing that? I was playing it before. Oh no. It's still kind of going. Okay. Is this a new level? Is this a new Press level? Press button. Uh oh. There you go. I think it's stable once you start it, or not. Oh god. Why is it freaking out now? Okay. Anyway, we'll give it a go. We'll see how it is. We might have to play it in Stella. It is a janky game. <laughs> Janky indeed. Thomas okay. Yentz described it as terribly programmed. <laughs> really, Thomas. <laughs> Hold on. So this thing, I just kind of come up. And... Yeah, and then you press the button to stop it, and then it gives you control back. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, cool. And and your gotta, go what's your the goal, goal is to walk over every part of the level and change, change the floor from... Um... Do I jump over these guys? Yep. Or you can get those power-ups, and you can kill them. Oh, you gotta walk over everything. Yeah. Oh shit. So this now was... I can't I can't duck down. Okay, good. I can. Yeah. Those are slides. So there's slides oh, and no. ladders. I see. Snakes and ladders. I feel like um screwed now. Uh yeah, you are screwed now. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I gotta I gotta be more intelligent about this then. Uh, Dan, played it in the Harmony, work for you. Do you have a CRT or do you have a uh, modern television that you have hooked up to your Atari? Because that does make a world oh, of difference. Oh, I gotta jump. Um, because I have all digital um, equipment and digital equipment freaks out if... So I gotta... Okay, oh, I ain't gotta do this because it's old school game. Damn. Gotta damn. reach over. <sighs> I got three of me now. Oh, I just died immediately. <laughs> what the hell? Well, yeah, once you start the game, it's fine. But it does have some flippies. Wow, what a crazy concept. Okay, this is definitely not my kind of game. <laughs> it's good that you got the high score. I think you're going to be playing this mostly, which is Modern good. TV hooked up to RF. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's a little bit so less like, sensitive I gotta to like, RF. I got to get these levels. I mean, there's that's the only way, right? Oh, fuck. Go... Moreover. <laughs> yeah, I'm still figuring it out. So, originally oh, well, this was uh, posted by Omega Matrix as a reset bug fix. Now there's three of me, okay. Um, and there was a bug with resetting, which gave you random number of lives, I think it was. Oh, okay, yeah, that's no good. And then Thomas Yentz did a speed-up hack to it, because apparently the original game moves like a slug in molasses. It's so slow. So, like... Get right there you go. Kill now him? you can kill them. Go kill it. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. There you go. But that's the only time I've got it, right? Now I gotta now I'm gonna be screwed for the rest of it? Nope, there's one up there as Thank well. Thank God, okay. This is only the first level, friends. <laughs> that's this right. is only the first level. Oh I see. Oh I see. And I think you can only activate it when you first jump on it. What? Unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a janky game. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. You have to learn the rules of the world in the, the, this game. That's correct. Uh, so, and then talk, Dr. Clue finished up this game by doing a sprite hack, and he changed the look of all the characters to make it closer to the... Eight, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Probably can't fall too far, but you can fall that far. Um, so, he posted January 23rd, 2019, after seeing all the awesome games... Of 2018, I'm glad I could combine the improvements and graphical hacks of Minor 2049er could be part of the lineup. And he's talking about the 2018 Atari Awards. Awesome seeing my favorite game mascot of the 80s, Bounty Bob, making some news in 2019. Bounty Bob! Yeah, man. Uh, remember, the game has two parts as it was originally released, each with three levels. That's really interesting. So it came on wow. two different cartridges. So basically, okay, James... Okay, don't get too close to that slide, and you're screwed. I didn't know. <laughs> Mistakes sure. have been made. Mistakes have been made. So, so you have uh, to die. So really... And you're out of lives anyway, oh, so okay. there you go. Or maybe you're not. That's okay. This gives me a proper go at it. Actually, the work of three people, the game was sped up, a reset bug fixed, and the graphics improved. The mutants were made even smaller to make jumping over them less impossible. You know what would really make me happy? It's more so than winning awards, seeing two volumes combined into one continuous game. Uh, okay. Yeah, kill the guys first and then go after the... Oh, 
sadness. <laughs> the threshold is very slim. It is. I find platformers on a 2600 um, extra hard because they're they're very um they, i wouldn't say they're clunky but they're just a different they're not as smooth it's like, very precision yeah they're there it's a different medium almost and also mostly the jumping is you commit to the jump yeah you, you there's can't no... turn around in midair because that didn't come till uh mario yeah super mario so. brothers like see here it's like you almost kind of like nudge your way yeah and there is a timer but you, it's pretty pretty long I think you maybe get points for finish, finishing the level. Let's see. <laughs> cool. So, to give you an idea... I would of, like to beat the first level, at least. Uh, yeah. But to give you an idea of what the points are... Um, so, in second place... It's only two scores on the board. Oyama Family, the guy who just cleans Rex. house. Uh, he has 582 points. How many points do I have? 365. Eight, so you're not doing too bad. Actually. Hold on. Go get that guy. Oh shit. I think that other thing gives you a power up too, so it's fine. I didn't think about that. So you're almost at second place. How scores. is that possible? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Um, and Arena Foot is in first place with Arena. 1,492 points. Represent. I have a technique now, finally. There you go. Then you press the button to stop. You're fine. You're fine. It's not stopping. Let's see. Press the right button, yeah. That's ah, life. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? This is a janky game. It's okay, it's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. I'll just die. The problem is you still can't die. You have to wait for the timer to run out because it's okay. you're invincible right now. It's okay. It's okay. So gonna... you got 428 points on that one. Hold on. Let I'm going to beat uh... this first level. I have a technique. So I think that's your best so far. Yeah. So I'm going to put that in. 428. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to do better than that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, thank you, Impaler. If you could be the scorekeeper. I was just about to type oh, it. I'm thank you so much. Fuck. Um. Yeah, so this has been... It was going to be over, I think, tomorrow, but it's been extended to the 10th. So if anybody wants to get their high scores in to add to the list, I'm sure we can boost up some of those scores. But some of the fight in this game is against the game itself. <laughs> like you're challenging your will against the bugginess of this game. Yeah, <laughs> well that's the thing, man. So like, for example, jump. Yeah. Okay. And then you should just stop and then press the button and it should be done. Are you like not pressing the joystick and then pressing the button? Because that's how you do it. Okay, no. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Uh, Mallard Season, can you ask a forum admin to activate my account, please? No, I cannot, because I am not a forum admin. Is that Atari Age question? Yeah, Atari Age. I think it just... Don't they just email you an email, and then you activate it through your through an email? I think maybe the problem was you were just on the edge. I would go to the middle of that platform that's, yeah, that's and the then activate now. it. So check your email, uh, Mallard Season, for activation. Um, and I think you have to just click a link and then you're good, possibly. Maybe you have to stand in the middle of the platform to get off, yeah. But the problem is that once you activate the platform, you're done. You can't... Oh, did you... I didn't oh. do anything. It automatically starts doing that. I think so. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see this joystick for a second. What you have to stop moving the joystick. And then... I did tell you that, but okay. apparently it didn't happen. Shit, okay, we got this. We got this now, friends. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. So User I'm not, error. I'm not Don't going, get too close. I know, I'm not going down this fucking slide. So, okay, I'm going to give you a hint here. My feeling is just grab this thing grab kill it everybody. Grab and kill all of those guys, Fuck but me. especially the guy on the left lower, because that guy's easy to jump over. Now go down, kill that guy, try and rush back. Up, Come on. up, up, I'm up, trying. up, run. No, you won't make it. Don't bother you're gonna get killed. You're done. Don't don't do it. Get all that stuff first. Oh, RC70. Mine took days to get activated. Not heavily staffed. Okay, so you will have to wait for an admin. That's um, a good tip, man. But it'll happen. It'll happen. 
So I can jump over this guy? Uh, yes. Theoretically. I would jump over him as he's coming towards you. Obviously. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Rip. Okay. <laughs> this time, I'm going to kill this everybody. This time's for reals. Well, I don't know. We'll see. But, like, okay, so I got to do this joystick user error issue. I'm happy that it wasn't It's me and not I'm, the game. Yeah, because then it would just, that would cause, just be rough. cause problems for both of us. So then I hit it and I stop. Okay, yes, good. There you go. Whew. <clears throat> oh, because it's just hard to, like, get these. Wow. You're right. Half the charm of this game is, is trying to, it's like, the fiddly precision. slowly figure out the weird bugginess of it. Okay. Okay, okay. Now you're good. Okay, okay. I was okay, stressing okay, out okay, before okay, about okay. you going on that platform. It's like, oh, now, God, now you're not in the right again. position. And it should make a noise. There you go. Okay, good. No! Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh. Suicide is the only oh, option at this point. It really is. Albert emailed me at the start of the show. He may activate you soon. I suppose to says. So you might, you might get lucky and get activated pretty quick. Sick. I find Alberts all over the forums, all the time. He's pretty active. It's amazing. I don't know, I don't know if there's any other, uh, how many moderators there are in the forums. Am I a moderator? I don't know. I mean, I think I was a moderator of a, of a part of the forum. At a certain point, you might become one. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, it's, it's... It is a status symbol, but less of a status symbol. It should be like, no, you should be doing things in the forum well, yeah. as a moderator. But I don't, I don't have time for that. But that's the thing. To be watching out for people posting garbage in it and spamming or, or causing okay. trouble. You know, for like, oh, yeah. making like rude comments or like just not being, not contributing towards, yeah, constructive comments. Kill, kill, kill. You must kill. Oh, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it! Ah! He switched! I just wanted to... <laughs> but look at my points. Yeah, you're in second place now. <laughs> and you still have a life, I think. I don't think no, so. No, 718. Oh. Can uh, somebody post that? That's something, at least. Okay, yeah, let let's you... do this. Time to, time to wreck. Thank you, Impaler, so much. I could do better than that for sure. Oh yeah, they're just simple mistakes that you're making, right? It's slow. It's a. It's a. It's, it's an a, iterative game for sure, right? It's it, a learning process. I'd say that like with this, this is definitely in the category of like, um, really, it's more about learning how to do each step. Like it's, it is something that like you play this game more, in the way that like some games are just like you can kind of pick them up and do well. This is not. Yeah. That. Make Atari Age great again. Zero page homebrews for moderator. Mm. <laughs> I've. I've. I'm that, that slogan scares me. That's the only. That's all I'll say. What is happening? <laughs> there is a problem. Line yourself up with that ladder if you can, and then push yourself up. Oh, you have to line it up. That's that was the only way that I got it. That's really terrible. Careful, careful about the slide. You can go right up to that. Yeah. That's terrible. Terrible programming. <laughs> so like, yeah. Go don't go yeah. Uh, do you have to jump over the guy? Yeah. Cuz there's no way around him. Fuck me. You have to jump over him. It's That's fine. It's a hard game. Yeah, it is. Dude, good work. <laughs> then you have to jump over him again. Oh, no you Yeah. Oh, I think I made a mistake. I don't know, man. It's tough. No, I made a mistake. I should have gotten all these spots on the other side of him first. First, yeah. Because if you look there, there's a single tiny platform. Yeah, oh, I see it. And I... it is not a good thing. So what I'm going to do is try and get this one on this side. Oof. Or not. Oof. Oh my god, what did I just do? You can still jump back. You're <laughs> good. good. You're okay. Good. Technically... I think if you raise it up, that's when you have to align it, and then... Yep. And then there's no going back. 
What was I supposed to say there? He says, I'm not a moderator, but I was given access to certain authors' private threads for developing games. Damn. Right. It's badass, dude. Well, he's a, he's a programmer, so it makes, makes sense yeah. that he would be part of those conversations. That's the thing, though. A moderator's job is really... Uh... The cop. <laughs> yeah. Cop of the forums. Well, it's just to make sure things don't get toxic. I mean, it's yes. just like any... It's really important, I think, in, <sighs> in, in like the digital era at this point. It is, because to, to preserve the freedom <laughs> of the internets... There well, there's going to be assholes. And... Yeah, that... Just we, wreck it for everyone. We don't want people posting a lot of the things people post. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of just junk, like you know, and just full, and it's just like straight up oh scams for a lot of people too, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that like, too. Like you know, so there's spam as well. There's spam, and then there's always gonna be trolls who are just oh. like lunatics. Yeah. And and try and. There's even, like, really sneaky trolls that pass themselves off as not trolls, but they're always just poking. Yeah. Poking and, and at it's you. Just, and it can really destroy, like, a like a really cool community. Which oh, is... yeah. But it's weird. Censorship of any kind is messed up, too. Like, you want to have freedom of speech at the same time. Yeah. So it's really tricky. It's a delicate, delicate balance. Okay. This game is it's terrible. <laughs> it's a hard game, man. It's really hard. You're doing well, though. Uh, I'm I think curious. All the, I think I'm all curious if you can kill that guy. I think all the scores were managed in just the first level. <laughs> Nobody's passed it. Because all my problems, well, not all my problems. I think the next problem is going to be trying to land on that tiny little platform. Ooh, ooh, you got it, though, man. I do. Just careful. Just be really. Just, just. Don't risk it. Don't. Yes, okay. James. Okay, now the hard part. Now, how f I'm going to measure up above how far I jump. Is that going to be a mistake? Oh no, you can jump vertically straight up. Ooh, I don't, I don't know if I want to jump over because that guy's. I think I'm just going to have to memorize it. Okay, I think I should jump from here. Nope, <laughs> he doesn't jump that far. Is that my last guy? Yeah. Nine thirty. It's not bad. Yeah. Are you going to go again? Uh, go? Uh, let me try one more, just so that I can like uh, say I gave it a go, and then you can play okay. the rest. Cause okay. Because I'd rather you get a good shot. I think shot. you can do better. I think I can do better, and I think it would be good if I can make at least some progress, yeah. and then you can just push, because you're the one I want to get the high score <laughs> for. Because you're the one who's got a chance with your aardvark score. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I ain't... Well, no, it's yeah, important. Yeah, it's true. Thank you, Impaler, for keeping score. It has two power-ups down there when it needs needs two power-ups up there. So in theory, um, uh, to get a high score, really, you just need to like do well <laughs> on your three lives. <laughs> so far, that's the thing. Because like, this... what's the highest score? I think the highest score got to level two. Because I don't wow. think you can do level one enough. It's 1492, which is another 50% more than I got. And I... Got fairly close to the same all three lives, I think. We'll see. Can you? I don't think you can. No, you can't. He changes just before. I'm convinced that there's a timing you can do it though. Yeah. Um, because I'm convinced that um, uh, I'm convinced it's possible because I think that um, we've been jumping over it at a convenient time. Uh. I'm thinking that if you jump over him, get it, go down, then he'll be close. He'll be at a because at the point he walks away, I think it's possible, and I think that might yeah. be. Um, but you might be right. There. That's my theory, my current theory. But I also think that like this method is legit. Oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I think this method is legit too. I think it is. It's not impossible to jump over him. It's it's challenging. You're you gonna have to jump over someone at some point, cause if cause like uh, my theory is that you're gonna want to like, um, cause you see, you, I'm, you're gonna want to jump over him and grab it if that makes sense. Yeah. That's yes. What, that's what I'm gonna try this time. I don't I think, think I'm that's gonna, a good theory. I don't think I'm gonna be successful, but I will try it nonetheless. Yeah, RC7E agrees with you that he thinks you it's, if you're quick enough, you can kill all three. Yeah, and I think it's about timing. It's about where that left one is situated. 
It is. So the right if one you, is situated. If you catch them. Oh, that right one? Yeah. Oh. Because you see... Oh, that's going to be hard to figure out. Well, no, because see, they're at the, they're always going the same raid, right? Oh, they are. So the plan is is that um, right now I've been getting it when he's on the far left, but if I oh. jump over him and grab it on the right, I think I can go down and kill the guy, and then he'll be farther on the left. Mm. This is my theory. Mm. That's, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good timing. Didn't have to go down all the way, all the way down. You hesitated at the top of the ladder? No, nope, you're not even close. No, it's not possible then, I think. <laughs> I mean, I have, to you weren't even close. I have to think about the timing of that. that there, was, was, there was two minor hesitations, but you were not even close to that. At guy. least I theory crafted something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I came up with a technique. Yeah. Which is... <laughs> Worth it. Worth trying. So, I'm gonna... So, you want, want to get as many on the left of him as you can. Oh. Maybe not that many. But that's the thing, you also take the risk of that shit. Too. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Whatever. Okay, uh, there we you go. You did better, I think. The... 590. No, I did no? better before. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's get get over that guy. Let's try and finish the first level. I think there's only three levels. <laughs> so, well, the, the, it's hard. Yeah, it's man, because you be could take it all. The idea is, is like to do, to get a high score, you could do all three. You have yes. to go through all three levels And get perfectly. the biggest bonus possible as well. Yeah. So do it in short time as well. Ruthless game. Oops. Did I screw myself up? Potentially. I almost did. <laughs> if I went too far and accidentally pressed the button, be I'd done. be dead. So. Oh, so I watched that Avengers movie. Oh, did you? Yeah. Ah, I did not. It's a very interesting movie, man. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, I was, have you seen the the one before it, the the Infinity War one? What just happened? Oh, you got hit by the guy. No, I was nowhere near the guy. Do you want me to reset? Yes, please. <laughs> Somehow I like hit my head on that thing, and died. The guy was all the way to the left. That was I was trying for, is to get him as far to the left and get that thing at the latest time possible. I still wouldn't probably time it up properly, but. No, I have not watched. I watched like the first Avengers, and I was like, "Yeah, oh, okay, I'm cool. done with this. This is just silliness." I liked it a lot, but um, it's. Uh, <laughs> I have to say, man, I haven't been to the theater in a long time. Yeah. I was really blown away by how much advertisement there is in the theater on all levels. Yeah, the pre-advertisement, then the trailers. Holy cow! Well, you, they know. You sit through like. 20 minutes of ads yeah it's brutal it's pretty unreal and then um uh what was also interesting was all the movies they're promoting are like what the fuck is this like there's a new aladdin movie there's a like it's really will smith <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> looking weird honestly it's so bizarre not even close i don't think you can do it um and then in avengers there's a lot of advertisement oh, God, inside God. the movie oh yeah it's bad now like literally thor plays uh fortnite Oh my god. I'm not god. kidding. This is, really? this is a scene from a movie. He's that's, hanging out in a basement playing Fortnite. That's really terrible. And then there's a point where Tony Stark, one character is like, what's what's that What's that body spray you're oh, wearing? No. And he goes, Axe. Oh my god. He, Are you serious? I, I'm not kidding. It's it's but it's so subtle. You almost wouldn't Subtle? No, you almost <laughs> wouldn't notice because it's like Ant-Man is pretending to be like small and then he asks him, "What body spray do you have?" and he goes, "Axe." It's so quick that you wouldn't really notice it, but it's totally advertisement. That's pathetic in fact. Um and then the other thing that like w was an even deeper one is there's this reference to um a 3000 is this specific number in the movie. Okay. Which is kind of Tony Stark uses I'm not going to spoil anything. Good. Um uh but there's a there's a product called the Iron Man 3000 that's currently selling. That's a real product. It's a real product. It's a it's a it's an exercise equipment that's oh. modern. So like and then and then uh Audi has a huge brand tie-in with the show and every car they drive is an Audi. That's fairly normal. But I mean, I have to say it, watching Thor play Fortnite in a uh, blockbuster was something else. And then he gets online and like pretends to like scream at somebody. Like he's like, I am Thor of Asgard. You yeah. and he's like and he's yelling at some internet troll. That's just cringy. And then um oh and then uh, uh what's his name? The Hulk dabs. He does like this oh, at a certain point. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna age well. I was like <laughs> I was like, oh my god, is this and that that was the thing is like on 
on one level, I really enjoyed, no! I enjoyed the movie, but on another level, I was like, I'm being advertised to on all levels. Yeah. Um, which... They knew how big the movie was, and they knew, approaching the advertisers, how much money they could make yeah. out of them. But I don't... Because they made a billion dollars in the first weekend. Like, they destroyed every other record. Ever. Ever. Like, by miles. But I... I've never seen in a movie before um, someone ask a character what body spray do they have, and they say axe. <laughs> I, I mean, when's the last time you've seen such a thing? Yeah, that's outrageously blatant. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, the the trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Now, even uh, putting aside the look of Sonic, the trailer is tr atrocious. Oh, and they got a Pokemon Garbage. movie, too? I haven't seen the trailer for that. Um... Which is just... <laughs> Pokemon the Detective. But I'm also blown away by how meta these movies have become. Um, really. Uh, because, like, as they're as the movie's happening, right. they make reference to other movies. So they, like, reference, like, Back to the Future. And, you know, it's oh. really interesting how it's almost part of the narrative, having a meta narrative within a narrative. <gasps> James! Oh! No! oh! Oh, 9.34 is the best you've done so far. Oh, oh is that it? Yes. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. You can, okay, you're... No, you, you keep going. Yours? No, you keep pushing. Okay. We'll see how far you can get. So definitely the person in top got to second level. Definitely. Because I just... Very possible. <laughs> got one away from the second level. No, I, I think But I can do it now. Better for you to push push to the end now. Yeah. I got my couple goals at it. Because I think I could do better, that but... Was <laughs> that was terrible. Um, that being said, though, the plot is quite amazing. It's quite really... I is think the, the plotting of it is really good for a blockbuster. They, yeah. they really don't waste much time. Wow. And Three hours and ten minutes. Yeah, they do a great job with knowing... Because like, they, they kind of like... Um, you, you think the movie's going to be one thing, yeah. and then they, uh, they just... They, like, within the first ten minutes, they do what you think the whole movie's going to be. And oh, I think that's okay. a really cool choice. Yeah. So then the rest of the movie is kind of like... Um, that you're not expecting. Yeah, which oh, is which I liked a lot. I think that's one of the, the best things they've done with it. Um, the game seems at least playable now. Yeah. Yeah. Bounty Bob's walk was so brutally slow in the original cart release. Oh, okay. Never played it. I don't think I have that cartridge. Because it's not a common one. What? A, this is definitely just a like practice makes perfect <laughs> type game. There's no, <laughs> it's there's no two ways about it. Yeah, you have to get really close to jump over that guy. This is your first go, right? Uh, yeah. So you're at 318? If you back even further. 318, yeah. So yeah, yeah. The so maximum the, you can get is a 900 and something. Yeah. Without completing. So you did pretty well, man, in the yeah. last gun one. Yeah. But to get over 1,000, yep, you need to beat the level. Talking line, James. Change graphic. Oh, sorry. I'll do that in the next break when I die now. Thanks for the. Thanks for letting us know. I suppose to. Yes, thank you. We're just too eager to get playing the game. Yeah, we wanted Forgot to jump to... right in. Um, Let's do that right now. It's also helpful. And, um, there we go. Not bag boy. And being a, a, a story structure mythology nerd, one thing that I like is that the main, like, main story beat is atonement with the father before the sort of third act, which is like, you know, becoming one with the father, like discovering that you're the person now who is calling the shot, so to speak. And, you know, there's, there tends to be like um, a huge beat in kind of mythological blockbuster storytelling. And it was like five atonements with the father. It was just nothing but atonements with the father oh, in yeah? the show. Yeah. Uh... Um, which was really interesting. And it's the most literal example I've ever seen <laughs> of atonement with the father with, oh, the, okay. with the main plot, which is neat. Um, and so th those guys know what they're doing in terms of like you know storytelling. Yeah, they they they've they've read the literature and they know <laughs> they know the beats they're hitting and it's almost a little like well, they better. It almost felt a little to me like um, it was like watching someone 
not not going through the motions because there's movies that are like that, but I could definitely feel like they were relying on. Oh, I think I messed up. Go okay. down to the bottom and see if. Oh yeah, you can reset. See if that. If works. I just hop off here. Smart. Smart. You got it. <laughs> so there is a way to reset. Yeah. You're not stuck we're on. We're slowly it. figuring out the stuff. Little pieces. Here and there. Of course, when we get to level two, it's going to be completely different and yeah. have totally different mechanics. And we'll, but we'll, figure and we'll it die out. immediately. We'll figure it out. Doing quite well, though. Yeah, yeah. That's the one I need to get. It's this jump. This is. Ah! Oh! Is that it? Yeah, yeah 954. <laughs> Think this Close is... to a thousand, but not a thousand. This hack is much better than the original Impaler says. Bull! Bull crap! <laughs> Somebody saying bull crap to something. Um, but I was, I was actually a little depressed when the movie ended because... End it's, of an era. Well, it is. It's like 21 movies, and it's also like... Sometimes when you see someone do what is basically the best that we can kind of do with blockbusters... Like, I don't... Right. I don't think blockbuster movies are going to get any better than that in terms of scope in terms of scope in terms of story in terms of everything in terms mm. of performance is really like it was it was so obvious to me that like holy shit these actors have been doing this for like 10 years like yes, their acting was phenomenal character. in many ways i'd say that was almost the best part of it um really yeah wow um, Robert Downey Jr. is just well, insane. So good in Iron Man. And Chris Hemsworth is amazing. Chris Evans is amazing. Scarlett Johansson's amazing. Um, Mark Ruffalo's amazing. Yeah. So that part is. This jump. This jump. You made it once. <gasps> I didn't even move, and oh. it's just like, oh, I'm gonna slip off. Get that part above the stairs first. Which which one? <laughs> which stairs? <laughs> I think I'm doing it in a pretty optimized way. I think the problem, because of the slide, is the issue, right? You have to... You have to end on the slide. You have to. Then you only have to jump once. Hmm. Oh. Is he... He's saying over the guy? I only jump once. I don't have to go back. Which, he which must stairs? Mean, he must mean there must be something here. Which oh, stairs? that's a slide. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, he knows what's up now. Oh, okay. He just didn't think about yeah, the slide. Yeah, yeah, it's not a stairs. You, now, the problem you're is... You're forced is to go down, and I then made, the I game is over. I made that mistake, like, so many times. Yeah, the game's over. If you, uh... Because <laughs> then there's not, nothing you can do. Yeah, you're stuck. You can't reset the lift. You have to kill yourself. It's not good. Yeah, yeah. If, if I could get that part, I would, but it's not... Not possible. You have to do this terrible jump. But I was too too far last time, so I'll go there. Yes! James! 1435, Whoa, 1435. Dude. No, wait for this to freak out. Oh, mm. no, please come back. Oh, no, it's good, it's good. Okay, we got some stairs. Holy shit, James. So that's not bad. Holy shit. There's a dude at the bottom. There's some things I it's, can kill it's you. It's doable. Are they patterned? Yeah, they're all one, two, three, so that's fine. And there's power-ups at the beginning of each of those guys at, on their side, but there's no power-up for the bottom guy. So that means I have to get past that bottom guy by jumping and, over. And you got to figure out these, these weird um, mechanical things, too. I don't think that's too bad. Okay. Careful, I don't know if he's going to kill you. No, he won't. There. There. So I go there. Hmm. I don't know how you're going to do it. And you have to jump and then go for it. Like, there's no hesitating. Because there's no time to hesitate. There. Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> if I didn't do that. Uh, how many guys? I think it's my last guy. That's a decent score, though, man. Yeah, not top, though. What's the top? Only 1,700. Or maybe it was 1,400. Uh, no, it was 1,400. So you're top? Yeah, but I'm not happy about it. I know. But you can, <laughs> there's, a, there's definitely improvement to be made. Oh, yeah. This, sure. this is a, 
compared to the last level, I think this one's easier. Well, eh, I wouldn't say that. We, we, we. It's not as this precise it's jumping. It's more this pattern that I have to do. What? What's that question? He said, uh, "How do you get to the?" Uh, he's asking a really good oh, question that we just no one knows yet. <laughs> He says those seem like slides, so how do you get up them? <gasps> oh, they are slides. So I'm wondering if you jump on top of this. I don't know. Ooh, you know what? There's these little dots there. Yeah. Yeah, those are slides. Never mind. I don't, but it looks like you should go past this guy. I know. That's... Oh, you know what? You have to go past the guy the other way after you go down the slide. Now, these little dots, I bet, carry me over. Let's see. It's a risk. It's, but it's, a, it's but there's nothing else to do. I have to hop on these little tiny dots. Amazing point. Let's see what happens. Yep. I knew it. <sighs> Whoo! Oh, that's great news. Now, is it going to take me back or stop? It just slides me down. So I have to hop off of it. Well, luckily, this is a much better way of going Whoa, back. Oh, James. It's, it's better going that way than that way. Yeah, but I mean, this means that there's there's... Potential. But I can hop off, get that power up immediately, yep. and I'm fine. Oh, so but you, you have got to do it it four times, three, four times. Damn, what a level! What a time now to I be think alive. the timing comes into it. It becomes a big deal, yeah. Oh, you got it though. Jump. No. Oh no. Oh no. That's it. Fifteen seventy-seven. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can do better than that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> There's improvements to be made. Yep. Whew. So what was the... Let me just check the top score again. Uh, 14.92. So I'm currently in first place. Oyama family will come back and defeat me. Because he is an amazing game player. Well, especially with something <laughs> like that, that's a that's not a huge threshold to beat. No, it's not. You could not. push for that pretty easily if you had if you had like a motivation to do it. That's the challenge. Yeah, and especially if you can finish this level in one guy, you got some yeah real estate to work with. This is exactly. It's just that leap now, um, and I think I know the spacing for it. You do have to leap to get that thing, because if you hit it with your head by walking, you die. That's also um, oh, another thing, man. Like Terrible. Sometimes when I watch like <laughs> daytime TV, I'm just blown away by how much advertisement there is. Oh, it's brutal. I'm pretty... We're I think, so used to not having advertising now. With Netflix and like... Um, yeah, all the on-demand shows. And YouTube even, I mean, you skip through them. Yeah. Yeah, you can skip after, like, three seconds. James. One life. 11.05 already. It's okay, good. That's what you get. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's okay, all good. Back. It's all good. Definitely get all of these ones, though. Yes. Because, because it's worth it's, it for the score. It's worth the points. Even if you do it every life, it's worth it for the score. So what's so fascinating here, though, James, mm -hmm. is that... Um, uh, it, oh, I guess no, no, yeah, because I, I want when you die, you'll be reset here. Yes. So there's, it's an interesting thing. I wonder if you'll actually get a worse score because I, of that. I, I actually am going to get a worse score. Yeah, this is very fascinating. <laughs> That's well, a good observation. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh God, did I do it the wrong time? Yeah, you did. It's okay. Good stuff. <gasps> oh no. Oh. Well, it's okay. You just gotta fall one time. I have to time. slide down on that other pixel yeah. next time. That's what. But how do I get? Oh no. Okay. Okay. You just gotta do it again. Oh no. I have no to way. do one final slide at the end. There's no. There's because a... I have to go back. Up yeah, to the I top. wouldn't bother. Um... Nope. I have to do it when he's coming towards me. I think. Let me see. Okay, if I go now. No, I do when he's going away from me. Yeah. Yay! Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just do the second one. I yeah. And then to worry about that big slide at the end. Yeah. 
because you can see if you can... Yeah. Do it now. What is... What is... What? What? Yeah, now get... Oh, it's reset. Get all these points. For sure. <laughs> oh, God. Nightmare. Nightmare. This is not an easy game. No, it is not. Shitty collision detection. Hell yeah, it is. Yeah. Now, did I fall through? Because I just edged myself on this one. Edged yeah. over. Do I have to, like, run for it? Do you jump? Ugh. I'm not going to get high score anyway on this one, so I'm just going to... I'm gonna run kind of faster. How did we do? Oh, oh, how did I magically get up? Like I, you had, I triggered it. You had zero issues last time. That's so I thought it was. Oh, he's easy. Oh my god. Okay. But now what? Now, like now, it's like oh, the, the goal is to finish the second level. But I'm not gonna get high score. So what you'd be <laughs> almost wise to do, James? Yeah. This is sort of sad but true. Is to complete everything you can, die, complete everything you can, yes. and then go on to the second level and see what you can do. Yeah. Um, with two lives. Exactly, because I think that this is a lot more points. Oh, so many things to kill and points to get on this one. 300 plus. Oops. Stopped it. Yeah. But this game is a but, steaming pile of garbage. But that's a risk <laughs> that you that you might have to make, right? Because the other thing is, is that you have less goes at that second one. Yeah. So it's like I think in theory the best case scenario would be you would beat all of them in one go. Oh, of course. Um, but I think there's also a reality of. But this we're playing for points, and what gets the most? And what points? can we realistically do? Uh, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's up to you. Cause like, not, I'm not missing many points in that go. Okay, cool. I'm fine. Because yeah, there's just a reality of, of how much you can get in your in your gaming session compared to say an ideal. Because yeah, of course there's an ideal, but yeah, how much are we gonna be able to get <laughs> today? It's your opinion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why isn't this a good game? <laughs> Why wasn't this made better? It's a rough game, dude. This is... See? Oh my god. Yeah, reset it. Yeah. yeah. You have to jump and get that stupid thing. Otherwise, you just die. By hitting your head on it. By hitting your head on a power-up. <laughs> you have to get the power-up in the right way. Ugh. This is one of those games, too, that if you watch someone do it perfectly, it's... it would be like, it's easy anyway. It's, 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 a, yeah. it's just sort of tough. Oh, no, no. It's so sad that you have way. To learn to live with the crap. Play oh, yeah. through the crap. Could you imagine spending a quarter each time? <laughs> On this? That's how they get you. That's oh, how they yeah. get you. Well, this is originally an arcade, right? Am I wrong? Because uh, you said it was a port for something. A port from 8 bit computers. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know so if that's it was nice. ever an arcade game. I should look it up. Seems like it would be an arcade game, does though. I could be, just imagine some, a bit some poor kid just <laughs> dying. But I, I'm sure it's better in, on different iterations of it. Yeah. So my goal is to die? No. Your goal yeah, would is. be to basically try to get these as many as you can and then die That's right before three. the last one. That's well, try three. and do it. You may as That's well. That's true. And it's good practice. Yeah, and then do it again. And now... Don't do it. And now die. <laughs> 324 is the perfect score. Oh, f it's what reset. the heck? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think your 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 1500 score is very um, yeah. respectable now. Now it that is. I'm uh, uh, thinking about this, uh, <laughs> it is yeah, because I got it on the last guy, didn't I? Yep. I got to the next level in the last guy. God, get up there. I think second last guy would be the trick. I think the second last guy is the trick. Yeah? Yeah. Does everybody think this is a crappy game like I do? <laughs> the collision detection is yeah, atrocious. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, the same, this ain't something I would like run home and be like, man, I want to play. You I gotta know? buy that. And and 
think about this. This is the hacked version that improves it. Whoa. By by many le by like the guy moved half the speed in the original game. This is the kind of thing that you would like show your friend after you spent like, you know, a lifetime learning. <laughs> and they'd be like, Really? <laughs> yeah. That's what you did? Is this my first guy? Yeah. Uh -huh. Totally fine, man. It is fine. Only missed a couple little it's a couple points. <laughs> That's it. So I should go to the next level on this yes, guy. Yes, that's my opinion. I think so too. Because um, I think here it gives you the best chance to, to push farther because then you have a couple goes at it, but you also are coming at it with a respectable score. Yeah. Because you did it first time last time and it was only 111 points. Mm. So this should give you 1,400 and, and an extra life. Mm. In theory. Yeah. I could be wrong. Oh, and Paler says C64 version is pretty good. So and they just made a bad version. Like, if you look at the line counts and flippiness of it, it's it's pretty pretty poorly programmed. And then the beautiful thing about this, James, is if you don't get it, it's not the end of the world. You can, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, I still have a good score. It's still number it's one. It's still respectable. But, I mean, if you die this round. <laughs> see, you're totally fine. You can do it again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, and get the bonus. Exactly. Um, and then have a go at the other one. Cause yeah, that's true. If somebody beats me, I don't even know if I would want to try and get a better score. I know. That's it's, the problem. It's, it's a rough it's game. It's not a fun game. It's definitely <laughs> a tough game. It's, so I supposed to give us a huge list. I'm not going to read it all because it's a lot of stuff. But, so it's ported but, to a lot of systems. But thanks, man, for posting that. If you want to like check out, just read I supposed to. Excellent. Of what it's all been played for. It's so interesting, hey, because the Atari um, is is actually a very sophisticated uh, thing. Like that, we play homebrews that are very sophisticated. Oh, yeah. But I think it's interesting because sometimes it can they can really not feel that way because of things like this, right? <sighs> yeah, but it's programming that makes the difference. Uh, one more. Yeah, I think one there's only more. so far so much more we can take. Yeah, I, I saved. I was like, I was like, I'll tell James about Avengers while this happens. <laughs> I, told, I said, uh, I can talk more about Avengers, but I don't think no, that's, no, no, I no. don't think that's that interesting to anybody. Um, um, it was put on the BlackBerry and iOS. Whoa, wow. popular game. got his hat. <laughs> Don't mean to... Yeah, it's pretty early. One more. One more. One more. Oof. Like, the concept of this game is great. Amazing. It's, it's wonderful, and I can see why it would be fun on other platforms, but the collision detection is just like, no, you didn't get it on the exact perfect pixel. You're dead. You slipped off this ledge. Like, he lands on that tiny little ledge and slips. It's terrible. And frustrating. It's so tiny. Well, I think the other thing that's tough is that it's there's no, um, there's no RNG element. There's no strategy element. I don't... I don't you know, there's, there's you know, strategy. There's no, you do have to work it's, on it's, it. It's a very skill-oriented, repeated oh. game. Yeah. You know, it's like... In, and I mean strategy is in, like, chess is a strategic oh. game, right? Where you're, like, out... You're not out maneuvering anything, really. No. And it's not different each time. It's very repetitive. No, it's exactly the same Which, each time. And so it's a matter of, like, learning. It's myself. almost like learning how to execute, like, a very specific code, almost. Just do it. Just go. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Going for score. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Going for score. 324 perfect run. Perfect. <laughs> That's right. Perfect high I have similar platform score. problems in my DK. Mm. DK? Is Donkey Kong. Just... Okay, that's what I figured. I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't... That's a, presumably a really hard game. I've never played it. It's supposed hard to be... Hard as hell. It's supposed to be one of the hardest games there yep. is. And that's why there's so much attention on it. Um, for when speed people get high, movie. yeah, for getting high scores. I mean, we've talked about that movie tons on this yeah, show. We yeah. don't need to talk about it, but that's definitely a cool <laughs> movie if you haven't seen it. Yeah, great documentary, King of Kong, Fistful of Quarters. Yeah. It's a long title. <laughs> but King of Kong for short. 
I won some. I had it on my Game Boy, actually. Yeah? Um, because there was, like... Uh, the that, original? Yeah, that was something... That was an early... That was one of my first things. Because there was Game Boy. There was Game Boy Advanced. Oh, sorry, there was Game Boy Color. It's okay. It's okay. Can keep pushing. Yeah. Um, there's Game Boy, Game Boy Color, yep. Game Boy Advanced, and Game Boy Advanced SP. And they were both, like, massively different. <laughs> Um, they were like oh, yeah. handheld things because the first one you had no backlit screen and there was no color so it <laughs> yeah, was it's pretty brutal very very basic and then Game Boy Advanced SP had a backlight which was just like the biggest fucking thing in the world because when you're a kid <laughs> right you can't actually you'd have to shine lights on the screen because you couldn't <laughs> yes. see anything so a backlit screen was the first time that like big advance you could actually see anything and so I had a lot of early games on that. That was why the big craze was um, Pokemon. That was yeah, that was so what, many Pokemon games for Game Boy. Yeah, that was the big deal. They command pretty good prices, and, some of them. Oh yeah, and then the tie-in to those cards was genius. Oh yeah. Japan came in and just <laughs> wrecked the <laughs> American market. No one knew what was even going on, and it was like crazy because they had these like TV shows that were basically advertisements. It was oh just, yeah, most was, of kids' television is advertisements for the toys. Which is brutal if you think about it. Like, what a scam. FML! Do you want to try to do it one more choice, see if you can get to the second level at least once, or do you want to call it a day? What time is it? One ten. We can do one more. Yeah. One more. I got to get to that second level with... The like, I got 900 there, so... The if I get the bonus, I think it'll be good. The latest craze of advertisement, I'm sure you've heard of this, is reality TV kids. So what oh, they do is they what they no. do is on YouTube, um, they have these like children <laughs> unboxing things. Oh yeah, yeah, that's been going for a while. And uh, Ryan's and, toys is the biggest one. And it's crazy the they amount get of millions of views. Cause, well, yeah, because it's like watching somebody open presents. Well, and everybody loves likes opening presents. Well, I think this is where the algorithmic approach of marketing in relationship to social media is insane. Because what happens is, is parents throw the a kid on the iPad on YouTube Kids. Mm -hmm. They go to do whatever they're doing, and the algorithm will will then just start playing next in the queue, and yes. the kid isn't going to change anything. Nope. So it's this it's this crazy targeted marketing that's like nothing we've ever seen. Okay, I'm going to. His toes are at the ladder. Perfect. <gasps> so That's the way I to know. do it, dude. That's the way to do it. Uh, so now I know. Toes at the ladder. Turn around and jump. 324. So I think I can do it now. Get a marginally better score, especially if I rush through it. Because the bonus is what you get for the points. I don't need to rush because I'm going to die again on purpose. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no, you can win this time. Mm, no, you get, I get way more points from this. Oh, what am I doing? Now I'm actually going to die. I don't want to make this. Do the top one. Oh, no, I think that's too far to fall. I have to reset. <laughs> well, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll do <clears throat> Sorry, because I have to die twice on this level. <laughs> And then do the last one. Really if you fast. want to, you could try. You could try doing it the other way, which could be interesting, because you can mm -hmm. potentially see if you can push for the second level. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think I'm gonna make it to win the second level. That's a good point. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, the second level is very like you have to do precision, like only because of those little platforms that you have to go on that I was not able to get on. I got on it first time, and then two other times, like, nope, slip off. Nope, you're dead. It's like landing on that little platform there, yeah. but worse. Because you have to kind of slide, you have to kind of walk off of it, then land on it, but I slipped, because I activated it. Oh my god. Maybe I'll just stop. Might be, that might be it, man. This is a very frustrating game. It is, because I have to do it in a specific way and die, <laughs> die <laughs> specifically. Taylor gave us some Qbert style swearing. <laughs> yes, definitely. It's good shit, man. That is exactly That's how, how we feel, feel right inside. Now. The pain, the pain of this it's terrible a, game. This and Boulder Dash were huge on Atari 8 bit and others, but I never liked playing either, even having an 800XL from 1984.
I don't mind Boulder Dash. I think if I played it more, I might like it um, in terms of doing strategy because I never really got the strategy of it. Um, I can see your skill level is much higher than when you first started. Oh, yeah. Obviously. I'm just pushing the limits of, <laughs> of things, <laughs> right? Going. And that's the thing is you also want to be careful because you, you don't want to be too risky. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now what was your technique? It was go there and then turn around and jump. And it's a perfect landing. Look, my feet are perfectly centered. Good. So now I, that's not the problem anymore. 324, perfect score. Now I get Good. 324 again. And then technically 324 plus a bonus. 326 plus a bonus. So that should equal 1,000. And I might even beat my score just with that. We'll see. And then you can potentially clean up some more stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then do as much as I can on level I two. I think we can do that. Let's try to do that before yep. we leave today. I think so. Otherwise, it just feels like we're we're fleeing for the hills. <laughs> Incomplete. Jumpman. Oh, I love Jumpman. Oh, my God. That's one of my favorite games. And there's been multiple attempts of Jumpman on the Atari 2600, so I might do a, a Jumpman-themed game uh, show Ooh. at some point. We got a cat, man. A cat. Oh, I need to get one more. One more dot. Ooh, ooh, don't push. Take your time. Yeah, it's not a not a timed thing this time. Next one's the time thing. Yeah. Hi, Tari. Hey, buddy. You come and hang out with me. James is busy getting a high score. Oh. No. That's okay. That's okay. okay. I, I moved one accidentally. So I missed out on two points. <laughs> No big deal. It's in the scheme of things, that's not the big deal. No big deal the, at all. The bonus is the big deal on this one. Yeah. So trying to move it, keep it moving fast is... But 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 don't, you know... Don't go over top. Go over the top. You're yeah. a dog with a bone staring at your yeah. reflection. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> don't go for that other bone. Yeah. And James's other cat is a little bit sick right now, so that's why he's not around. Yeah. He has a hurt tooth. He's going in you for surgery, too. You look pretty man. Just it just just then he's normally pretty pretty good he's powering through it cats kind of grin and bear it yeah he just he just did not look like he was having a good day <laughs> he was just sleepy okay don't fuck with james don't fuck with james nope. he's got some shit that he's doing and i'm almost okay there we have our technique yep don't the panic. hard part's over don't panic and don't, or don't be cocky either What did I get? 1800, motherfucker. Okay. That's how okay. you do okay. it. Okay. That's how you do it. 1804. Okay, well, our approach is good. Just get all the free for scores. Points. Yep, for score, the approach is awesome. Gather up the free points on my last guy. Yeah. And then try and make that platform. Yeah, that's and, it. And, and that's we'll the see. most I can do. And we'll see what we do. And Atari's here to cheer you on. Yeah, he, he brought good luck, didn't you? Good work, Atari. Just don't fuck with James's uh, hands. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. Do you, do you jump on it? How did you... Uh, you could, but that's way harder. How did I you... just fell off it. I just walked off. Cool, let's... Okay. Oh, just walk off it. Oh, he's coming for me. No, you're good. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Can I get this without going on it? No. Nope. Can I jump? No. no. Okay, so it is one at a time. Unfortunately, you have to go down that slide twice at the top, plus get every level. Yeah, so you have the, to go back five times. I would do like the last one be the big slide. I would just I would push for um, because you're gonna get more points. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I didn't know what to do there. That's I okay. should have waited and jumped over. 1928. I will retire on that. Yeah, I don't want. I don't think you want to get better than that. Because all these all those things are just two points. Yeah. So unless you complete this level. You're you're doing. You're not going to get a lot more. Yeah, you could probably break two thousand um, if it, you beat yeah. this level, but that would be it. Yeah. Hi. Hi. He's Hi. licking your hand. Lick, lick, lick. Sweetheart. Yeah. So cute. Oh, reset. Oh. Nineteen twenty-four. Thank you. Nineteen twenty-eight was it? Yeah, oh. twenty-eight was the. Thank you, Impaler, for. Thanks for taking notes, man. Yeah, taking notes on that. What a game. Yeah. I don't think I'd. Uh... It's a good thing we played this game in the context <laughs> of like this, because this was yeah, the best way to play it. I think so. And I don't think I'm going to get much better unless I 
play it a lot and master that second level. But I think I could probably do those platforms now. You go right to the edge and just go tap. Yep. And then you fall off of it. Yeah, if you sunk another uh, <laughs> hour, <laughs> two maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm, happy but we, I'm happy we got to get around now. What I would do is, is just do the first level properly and then go to the second and keep practicing that with lots of lives and good cat excellent host excellent cats and super excellent games thank you for Thanks, that review dude. mr wow. fix we got a full the cross love it yep. <laughs> good cats <laughs> excellent so let's take a look at what's on the roster coming up um so next episode we're going to be doing a retron 77 update Ooh. um because i haven't gone over that it's going to be pretty quick I'm just going to talk about so tanya or darcy uh, that is Darcy tomorrow at tw not tomorrow uh, Friday. Friday at uh, twelve noon uh, Pacific time three p.m. Eastern eight p.m. Uh, GMT GMT because the Retron seventy seven can now play ninety nine percent of all games so all the homebrew right up to date the community has been doing awesome with the updates um, and we're going to be playing Red Shirts Arcade Pong and Hunchy Two cool so some Really fun games. Um, and then when you're back on next Wednesday, I've got two games lined up so far. Project Z, or Z if you're American, Ooh. and Jupiter Sumo. I'm into the both Which is a two-player game. What's the, um, uh, uh, are, are any of those related to high score things? Or no, anything? no, no. That's just once a month. Okay, cool. Yeah. Are those big games? They must be if there's only two. Uh, no, I, I need oh, to and get then more. Oh, TVD. Okay, be cool. be determined, yeah. So as they come in, you know, I, I fill it in. Um, then we're playing Yahtzee on the 10th, um, with Tanya and also Isaiah's Wii Chase, Ooh. which is, uh, I can't remember what that's about. It's, it looks and weird. Then, and then you have a little, uh, Oh, that's an exciting Ooh. one. I uh, scheduled that for your, for a day with you. It is, uh, Champ Games' new secret homebrew. Nobody has seen it except for the people who have worked on it. And the way it's going to work is I won't even know what it is. Well, You won't know what well, it is. Well, I'll definitely not know. I don't know anything. And on top of that, he's going to send it over. And if I boot it up to try and find out what it is, I can't because it's got a code lock on it. Dude. <laughs> so he's going to give you the code lock for the show? He's going to give me the code lock live on the show, in the chat. So There's not no until I plug it in and he's on the chat and I type in the code, can we play the game? This is... Uh, it's super secret. It's that's, locked That's down. marketing, man. That's, that a, that's marketing. good. That's good shit. Yeah. So who knows what it is? He's he's had a bunch of games rattling around. Um, there's ideas, but uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Um, and then skipping way ahead, next month, uh, June 19th, we're going to be having our Uno Kart special. Um, we're going to be playing the first ever uno kart specific game cool actually the first two because that's why we put it off so we can have two of the very first uno kart games that's gonna ever be made so that's going to be really exciting and then sometime late ne later next month is going to be our 12 hour um i'm looking forward to 12 that. hour show we may consolidate the friday and wednesday Actually, it's going to be on a Friday, so okay. it'll just be a Friday show. Actually, nothing will change. We'll be probably starting at, at noon and go to midnight. Sounds good. So I don't know what your availability is on Fridays. I'm sure I can figure it out. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure that like I'm not... Excellent, because we're going to have all, all three hosts, co-hosts here. Oh, that'll be perfect. We're going to have Tanya, we're going to have Darcy, we're going to have you, and we're going to be trading off. And, and I'll have to decide some... what liquor we get. Oh, wow. Mm, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what if, if that's thrown into the mix. Yeah, uh, Ice Post says, I don't know any about the Uno Kart exclusive. But only after like no. 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. I'm not... We're not <laughs> yeah, not too early. Not, <laughs> not at, too early, but not I at think, 1 p.m. But if we're doing a 12-hour thing, I think we got to have some pace, drinks near the end just to kind of like... Just as if there's ever a show to, to drink on, that's, that's the true. one. That's true. Oh, what is... There's a, there's a stream that he drinks... What is it called? He plays uh, Nintendo games. Oh, Gintendo. <laughs> so he drinks gin I, and tonic and plays Nintendo games. I, so funny. I get the, yeah. <laughs> uh, I suppose it doesn't know anything about the Uno Kart exclusive. No, nobody does because yeah. it hasn't been announced anywhere. The guy approached me about it um, to say, hey, do you want to do, here's my new game. 
Mr. You wanted on the show. Has a fun question. Has anyone destroyed a joystick? Cause uh, destroyed a joystick cause a game pissed you off? Uh, I've never thrown a joystick. I, I I know there's people out there like get really yeah. mad and throw joysticks, but I love my joysticks too much. Yeah, to I've do never that. been that guy before. And um, this this is an injurious. It's got a metal plate on the bottom to make it heavy. You don't want to throw this. I've I, the only thing that I, I've ever done in games would be like 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 I'll just like I'll grit I like crush my fists and my teeth. Yeah, I um, actually hit the couch. You know, I'll just, oh, that's the that's the closest I'll get to like being pissed off. My sister ha was the worst for that. Yeah, she would just throw things. She broke a lot of my systems because of because of those oh, things. Boy. She almost she actually smashed our tube TV at one point. Oh my god! Because she took a controller and threw it at it, and it like. It didn't. She, it's she the say, ultimate rage. I shouldn't say smashed it, but she, but she did a dent in the oh, TV, which okay. was like we basically had to get a new one because no one wants to look at a cracked TV. <laughs> while that's very distracting. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Rio Theater has this tiny blotch on their on their on their oof. screen, and it just distracts me all the time. So I can understand that a TV, any little imperfection, it just drives you like crazy. Like a dead pixel or something. Um, I I usually shake. I usually hold the controller really tight and shake it and go Arr! that's yeah. my usual reaction to games but i i never destroy it uh i got so grounded because that joystick went through the dining room wall mr fix it Ooh, Ooh, that's, that's some extra what level. game was that that you got through the controller through the through the wall yeah oh my god but my, my sister has broken so many things <laughs> like that she's she, she oh, actually boy. had she's i got some some so, sort of issues with with anger yeah. when it when it comes to things some people are it's, it's games, worse than games bring out the worst in people yeah, man. like i know on uh cinemassacre mike matey like does that to the couch and screams like swear words at the yeah. top of his uh, voice i'm pretty i'm pretty zen most of the time if i if i find that i'm getting <laughs> getting upset i'm like i try to counteract that with some like yeah you know it's just because i feel some like herbal tea well yeah <laughs> we just gotta make i know that like i don't think i'm gonna do better at the game you know what i mean i, I know that it's getting in the way of my performance yeah. so the I rage like, isn't to... gonna help it helps you get rid of just get rid of that that anxiety and, and rage that the game is making you like See, it, it does it does it is a common thing that's and, and they've done studies on on swearing it does like help you it's because the game i play um, oh it helps with pain levels that's yeah. what it was when you hurt yourself and you swear it brings down the pain level the the game right. that i play has lots of levels that you would have to invest a long time into yeah. and that's when i get really pissed off so oh. there's a game that i like there, there's this thing there's like a labyrinth you have to walk through and it sometimes you end up spending almost an hour working on it and then you can die right before the end and that's when i get mad after i've invested an hour of my life into something that's like um or you know like leveling up you yeah. lose experience points if you level up and i have characters mm -hmm. that are really low like high level so like if i get killed in some cases that might erase like almost six hours of work and that's a really harsh thing to feel uh, you know and you can get killed like two or three times in a row because of like a stupid oh thing and then you literally have it's like six hours 12 hours 18 hours gone and oh. that's and that's a that horrible that that's the only times i get really pissed off because if anybody wants to see me probably at the height of being pissed off watch the panky the panda completion screen uh stream where i yeah. complete the game it took me like three and a half hours. Um, and you get three lives and there's no continues, I think. Yeah, it's it was terrible. Or Gingerbread Man, yeah. where I try and complete the game, which I still have not completed because oh. it's unbelievably hard. I get pretty far, like really, really far. So those are the ones, if you want to see me get raged out as much as I do. Yeah. <laughs> those are the ones, yeah. Um, yeah, and all, of course, Dan Kitchen's games, upcoming games, at some point, still working on them, ma making them perfect. That's fucking cool about the, uh, uh, secret. The secret game, secret champ games, yeah. That's exciting. That is very exciting. I've never done anything like that where you don't even know what it is. And so, as soon as he announces that he's going to send links to, you know, the history of the game, um, to me and and how to play it and everything like that also oh, we'll figure it but all on the show yeah all Z live zero page homebrew Com style man it's it happens live. live let's that's do how it we live. do it here exactly so uh, i want to thank everybody who uh tuned in today yeah, lots of cool people especially atari here um 
Can use the mouse here. Impaler 26, Mr. Fix, RC70, Ice Boast. Ground Trooper. Ground Trooper, who just Militant up, Buddhist. Up, upped his subscription. Uh, Dan AVC, Jared Mallard Gray West. Season, who has a new game coming Shit, out. Man. Jared Gray West, yeah. Uh, anybody else that was talking? Our, oh, um, Wink Dot. Uh, did we say Militant Buddhist? Yeah, yeah, RC70. I mean, we already said that. Uh, I think we caught. Just if we didn't about catch everything. you. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. It's yeah, even deal. if you're just uh, watching and not typing, or watching on YouTube later, and yeah. uh, make sure you uh, follow us on YouTube and and Twitch and all the Instagram and Facebook. It's all zero page homebrew. It's all the same. And since my jobs have kind of leveled out, we're more consistent about the days. So if you want to come check out the stream, it's pretty consistently yeah. the same, which is good. It has been consistent for for. Months, months now, and months, which so is it's, so good. So it's Wednesday, Wednesdays and Fridays, and every second Friday we do it at twelve p.m. Pacific, and the other ones are six p.m. Pacific. Yeah. And Wednesdays at eleven a.m. every day Pacific, and you can figure it out from there. It's, it's eleven a.m., two p.m., seven p.m. Yeah. GMT. There you go. Got your scores posted on Atari Age. Good show again. Love homebrew games, especially for twenty six hundred. Oh, thanks, man. Dan AVC, for posting that. That's really helpful. Usually I, I go in and Do all post the screenshot or whatever. Yeah, but since he's here, Dude. he saw it live. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, thank you. We, yeah, it was a fun show. And we love homebrew games as well. That's, that's why, why we we're here. That's whole show for it, that's just, why just for the 2600. It. And it's one of the most creative um, consoles, I think. And most active. It is definitely the most active console for homebrews. Which is why for another reason, reason I, I chose it. Yeah, yeah, because it's such a fun console. So thanks for tuning in. We will see you on Friday with Darcy for more homebrew goodness. Bye-bye.